and we're back after taking a few days break. So let me just uh, clean up my inventory from everything that happened since we've been on last time. Uh, that's pretty good. I still have my horse flute. Do I have any mail that's about to expire? Better take these ones. They're probably about to expire in one hour. Good thing I came on just about now. Uh, a lot of black stones, actually. You know, I probably uh, can actually go and like put these black stones back into my bank so they don't take up my weight. Get my horse recovered. I have some roof fragments. I only have four. That's not enough to make a full rift. And I still have this uh, broken spirit stone from last time. This I don't need. I guess I'll keep all the spirit stones down here. Still can't change item location when processing. Okay. Alright, so I haven't actually done or really read too much about Adaraxion, if that's how you pronounce it even. But all I know is that you're supposed to do a quest in order to enter it for the first time. So let's take a look how we go about doing that. I'm assuming it's from the Black Spirit, I think. Uh, main quest? Yeah, invitation from I. I think that's the one. And this is all the way in Tarif. So I'm actually gonna go pass by Valia real quick to bank all my stuff. Um, uh, make sure I'm on the right server as well. Go to Valia. And, um... I guess today the goal is pretty much going to be... To go to Adaraxia. Check if there's any PvP. Um, potentially try and get into Adaraxia. I don't know if that's even really possible. Hey, Neil. Uh, that's weird. I see our message on the overlay, but not on the um, Twitch chat integration. Huh. I think Twitch chat might be lagging for me. Let me see if I can do something about that. Let me see. I can... Chat appearance, emote, no. Delete message, pop out chat, clear chat. You're on mobile, okay. No, I don't think you're on mobile is the reason. Because I can see your chat on the stream overlay, which means I got, which means Twitch received your message. But I'm not seeing it on um, the stream elements integration into OBS, which shouldn't happen. I think it's... I didn't do anything, but I think it's fixed now, though.
Like if your message is being delayed, then it will be delayed everywhere. It wouldn't just be delayed on one thing and not the other. I think it's fixed now though. That was just like a weird thing. I don't know what happened there. But yeah, so as far as I'm aware, we have to do this quest. And then I guess we'll see where that takes us. I don't even know where the instance is. But I'm going to Valia first in order to free up some inventory slots. We're going to do a quick run by. Hello, Anthony. Is this the starting of the stream? Um, this I don't need. This I don't need. This I don't need. And I don't need this either. Alright, great. So, meet in Tarif with a Hankuris. Invitation from I. I wonder what I stands for. It's obviously not this guy. His name doesn't begin with I at all. Okay, so this is going to be like a three minute ride. someone writing back the FK but uh so I'm gonna get to Tari first see what this is about. So what have we heard regarding PvP and Arsha Adaraxion? So there isn't really any confirmation for or against PvP on Arsha and Adaraxion. And honestly looking at um other people's stream all of them right now are focused on actually completing the dungeon. None of them have really done anything PvP related, as far as I'm aware at least. So we really have no real info. What I do know is that even if you're not PvP, you can still brief people. Because apparently there's like one of the uh, section is a puzzle. And since it's not instance instanced, it's like just world instanced. Um, anyone can actually mess up with your solution. That's all I've heard so far in terms of like, you know, actual conflict, but nothing like true PvP yet. Is there PvP inside of it? I mean, what we know so far it does seem correct that anyone can enter and it's just shared. It's like a world instance. Like that, that seems to be correct. Because if that wasn't correct, then we wouldn't get complaints of people who complain that their solution gets messed up by randoms. But no one has really complained about PvPing others or getting PvP yet. So we don't actually know anything about whether PvP is possible. At least to the best of my knowledge. Um... But we also know that it doesn't seem to be a place worth grinding either. Because when you kill the mobs, the whole purpose of killing the mobs is to get the key to go to the next uh, next step of the dungeon. So you wouldn't really grind there for profit, you would only grind there for the completion. So anyone who's going to be there will most likely be doing that. 
But that also means that we don't know if Arsha, there's like a point to it on Arsha, because at the end of the day, does Arsha increase the drop rate of the key? I, was, I would assume it does, but we don't know yet. So, we go to this person. Destroy this suspicious grave. So, uh, no, yeah, there is no indication that PvP is happening. So what we can hope for is that if Arsha increases the drop rate of the key item, then people may potentially want to go on Arsha to have a higher chance of getting through the dungeon. But again, we don't know if that's actually how it works. That's just based on my uh, best interpretation of what we know so far. It could very well just be like a uh, number count based, you know? Immortal's Giant's Draft. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is the one I was looking for. This is the one that you don't lose if you die. Yeah, this is the one I wanted, actually. I don't even know how you make this. But like all things, we can't say for sure until we actually try, so... I just have to figure out how we get through this quest line first, because I don't know how long this quest line is. Like, what are, wait, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to investigate the box first. Or is this not the box you're supposed to investigate? What the fuck? Wait, what? Isn't this the box? I have to talk to the man first and then investigate the box, okay? Oh wait, you're just done here, okay. And then you get a perfume as well. So it looks like it's really prepping you to die in the dungeon. That's the only reason I can assume that they're giving you all these immortal elixirs for free. But it's free, so I'll take it. Um, I mean... 20 AP? I guess we'll just take 20 AP, I don't know. Which is actually better for PvP here. Um, okay, so now we're going to uh, the Harash Runes for some reason. I do know that the um, Adaraxian dungeon does seem to be ancient weapons related, so I wonder if it's around here. It's Hasra, not Harash? Okay. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Ancient weapon? What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Why did the music stop? weird. wonder if it like 
reach some unplayable music in the playlist or something. You're gonna get takeout? On the Wednesday? Alright. You do you, I guess. Okay, so I guess we're already at the point where we have to defeat Ancient Weapon blocking the way. I don't really know what this is about, but where are we going to defeat the Ancient Weapons inside? Can't be inside here, right? So if it's inside here, then this place is pretty empty right now. Okay, so we defeat the ancient weapon. We go deeper. Now, what do you mean deeper? We're clearly going backwards here. This direction. Has this always been here? What is this? Uh, look deep what's in the runes. Press the strange symbol. Read the letter from someone. Oh, let me just kill these mobs first. Wait, what letter? Wait, what? String symbols. Oh, okay. Just have to talk to it again, okay. That's pretty strange. Um Sure. Add the Mentine Crystal. Okay, so it's not here, obviously, because now we're going all the way back to Heidel. I'm guessing this is just like part of the quest. Not the final destination. This place is actually annoying to get out of. So many mobs on the ground. Okay, so let's go all the way back to Idol.
Are we taking this path? on the this side of Hido, I guess. Actually, it's not even on this side of Hido. Okay, then. Uh, talk to the guy upstairs. Alright, next. Figure out what happened in the ancient stone chamber. Wait, where are we where are we going? Upstairs again, okay. All the way in the attic. Let's take the journal. Um Talk to him again. We need to pay 100 gold. What the fuck? It's randomly being scanned for 100 gold, I guess. This is my tent. It's like 10 mil. Wait, it costs 10 mil to stay at this inn? Is that what it said? What kind of scam is this? It never says pay for their stay. It literally costs 10 mil to stay at the sin. This is a scam. A five star in? Bruh, even then. This has to be one of those, um, like 100k per night in that you see on YouTube. If you know what I mean. Okay, so now we're going back to... No, we're going to the ancient stone chamber now. Okay, then. That's my horse. Chinese takeout can be anything, right? It's kind of uh, like any food can be Chinese takeout. The first thing that comes to my mind is like rice. It's like, I don't know, compel chicken.
so many options when it comes to Chinese takeout. What's this mount here? You want Kung Pao chicken now? With no rice? Wouldn't that be too spicy? I feel like it's very spicy with no rice. Or are you eat or do you eat without spice? I think by definition it's spicy. Oh, this is new. You can handle spicy? Bruh. Without rice? There's still rice in that. Wait, what? He just summoned a random thing? He eats Szechuan food without rice? That's weird. It's not even about spice, it, it just feels like it, it tastes weird. But that's just me. So, okay, talk about the threat of the ancient weapons. Um, report? Wait, so we need to make the tier? Wait, I don't get it. I thought it said you didn't need to make the tier. When you first do it. Okay, what is the actual instruction? Do I actually did that wait, did I get a recipe? I assume I did, right? Do I want a duel? Uh, probably not. I'm trying to figure out how you get into this dungeon. So, you need to tell the burst here. What's the ingredients again? Wait, hold on. That can't be right. Fire. Okay, so this guy is inaccurate then, because it, it it said that uh, you need to. It said that to create additional tiers, you need the items. Didn't say you have to create it the first time. Okay then. So I need fire horn. There's no fire horse even in stock. There's no trace of despair in stock.
And how many Taliburst here are we supposed to create for this one anyways? Do I have to make three for this or what? I mean, I'll put in the pre-order, but... How many do you need for this? Just one? Oh, like, do you just need to make one tier? Trace of Despair. 49. Um, Powder of Flame. Wait, this, oh wait, I don't really need to make Powder of Flame, plenty of those. Uh... have Clear Liquid Reagent. Let me check all my storage again. But I thought there was a way to check all your storages. I probably don't have clear liquid reagent, or if I do, it might be it might be in glitch. No, that's purified water. Oh yeah, I do have clear liquid reagent. Okay, so that's good. Investment banks existed in the ancient times. This is the medieval times, I think, because we have like knights and stuff, and people on horses. Blackstone powder. I have only forty six here. Uh, do I have that in Idol, maybe? Okay, so I have Blackstone Powder, so that's good. Okay, so I only need Trace of Despair. Do I not have Trace of Despair anywhere else? Where did I sell, sell all of that? No, this is Powders. I do have Trace of Despair. I don't need to buy that. So the only thing I really need is Fire Horns, actually. Now that I think about it. Unless I also have fire horns. I doubt it though. I don't think fire horns you can get normally. And in fact, I'm pretty sure the only way to get fire horns is to gather. I have 16. Yeah, I think you needed to gather from something. I don't suspect the pre-order will fill anytime soon at this rate, though. There's like 2,000 of them. No, 20,000. 20, my bad. So maybe we actually have to go do gathering. Imagine. I might as well gather up the material real quick. I have to go to uh, Hido and then Calfeon for everything. Yeah, we have muskets, but we don't have guns because apparently, you know, guns are not muskets. It would be unrealistic to have guns in this game. The muskets are completely fine and are totally not guns. Alright. This guy's a safe okay.
Is this the start of the gunpowder age? I don't know, let us shoot people with muskets. You can have like a musket class. I feel like. So when people ask for gunslinger, it doesn't have to be like modern pistols. It could just be those medieval firearms. I mean, why not? The entire game is RNG. <laughs> it would actually be thematically accurate. But I mean, pirates had guns and cannons back then. So why not? I think it's totally reasonable. Okay, so any traces of despair? It's about speed and accuracy. Oh, you're thinking of like cowboys or something like that. But I think people just want guns. Yeah, like a yeah, a gunner class. But the devs said they don't want to do that. Because it would be uh not historic not not um not fit with the theme of the game. Okay, so despair. Uh and I need to go to glitch. Would I need to go to Glitch for again? Why oh, are yeah, reagents? I don't know how some guy brings a knife to a gunfight in movies and anime. What about when the guy uh, brought a gun to, when Indiana Jones brought a gun to a knife fight in his movie? I think it was Raiders of the Lost Ark. I don't remember which one it was. Well, I still think there's a lot of justification for there to be a gunner class. I mean, even in um, ancient Chinese martial arts, where like they don't even have muskets they they also they still have guns cuz there's always like a high tech school that invents guns before anyone else So the clear liquid reagent. Why 
What else? Uh, Blackstone powder. Um, I'll take this. I'll get the rest of my though later. And then powder of flame, which I also get from Hydo. And I'll take these fire horns as well. Do you even know where other Roxanne even is? Even if I don't have the materials? Doesn't look like it. an elephant here. The fuck? This is a guild elephant? If it's a guild elephant, you can't really damage it. All things are immortal. Where's there's a guild elephant? Where's the driver? I don't see any driver anywhere. That's weird. I think, no, I think this is a guild elephant. They use these in sieges, but I think this might be a low tier one. I think this might be a tier one, tier one elephant, maybe. But I don't really see its owner anywhere. <laughs> Their owner jumped off the bridge? Man. Feels bad. These are the materials I need, I think. I just don't have... Wait, no, I need Flames of Despair. Yes, and I just need the rest of the Fire Horse. They're not for me, they're for my workers. Even though I don't really use workers anymore. And it's cheaper to feed them chicken these days anyways. Workers, slaves, you know. Same thing. We're all lords in this game. You can have workers too if you put your mind to it. Although the workers are pretty lazy these days. You don't really make nearly as much money as you could by yourself. Where's the uh material guy? Your horse gets caught on twigs and small rocks? I think that's uh the, the driver is to blame there. The horse just follows the driver's instructions, so. I think that's on you, man. Well, it's still your fault for pressing T. What can I say? Uh... 
not even life skill these days. It's not like telling the horse to walk in a straight line. Pressing T doesn't make it walk in a straight line. That would defeat the purpose of pressing T. You're the one who told it to go in a highly complex route. Maybe you should have gave clearer instructions. Tell it to walk in one line instead of multiple. Yeah, see, that's the thing, right? Maybe you're uh, being too complicated with your instructions. You need to be clearer. Now, pressing T is the least clear instruction there is. You could do more than just press T. Okay, so I, I think I need to take actions into my own hand. Huh. I guess I can go to uh the sh Lynch Ranch where all the sheeps are and try actually gathering. I don't even think I have any gathering stuff anymore. Pretty sure I sold all of my life skill stuff. And I don't have Fire Horse on any of my other banks. Does any time your main character carry over? Yeah, so. With this game, there are certain things that are shared across the entire family. So, map knowledge for one. Um, it's just like all the like general knowledge. Like things you get from talking to people, meeting people, discovering places, stuff like that. Um, your energy, which is basically what lets you do life skill and also various... Uh, Quests might take energy, and just a bunch of stuff could take potentially take energy. It's kind of random, but mostly life skill. Contribution, which you need to invest in nodes, which is what you need to get your workers to do work. Uh, also, you can potentially use your uh, contribution to rent stuff, but no one really does that except for farms. So you want to do farming, you also need contribution. Um, and of course, your nodes that you invested in, the farms, those are shared as well. Uh, banks. Are shared family wide. Um, what else? Stable, also shared family wide. Uh, the marketplace, of course. Uh, well, and I think that's about it. So, look, so pretty much everything that you like put somewhere that isn't your inventory is you can consider as being shared family wide. It's like, yeah, I think that's a good way to put it. Like, your stats obviously is per character. Oh, title is shared, of course. Um, challenges are shared. Well, some challenges are shared, not all of them. But, like, mostly everything that isn't, like, in your character stats or in the inventory is shared across your family. So, this game is pretty, like, good if you want to make multiple characters. And, in fact, for some content, you do have to make multiple characters just to make things a little bit faster. But that's only if you care about those content. Yeah, that's those are shared as well, tendon fairies.
Actually, do I have Mano Scare on one of my character? I do. I have I'm not Mano Scare. I have Loggy gear on this character, which is used for life skilling. But I don't think I have gathering stuff anymore. And to all is max on season though. What happens after your seasonal turns to main character? So basically what happens is that you can choose one item to make it into the actual boss item that it represents. So technically every piece of Tuvala gear represents a boss equipment. Uh, so the helmet represents um, the griffin helmet. Oh, no, not the griffin helmet. I think it's Gaiath. Yeah, the Gaiath helmet. Uh, the armor is Dimtree. The boots is Muskin. The gloves is Bags. Uh, weapon is Kazarka. You know, stuff like that. And then you can choose one of it to turn into the actual boss item. And then have it, and then it's going to be bound to your character, or not to your character, to the family. So you can't sell it, but it does become the actual item, and you can then enhance that to pen. Uh, it will be, it will start at Tet, but then you can enhance that to pen. And then for everything else, it's a stasis pentuella. So it's kind of like you do kind of get an early head start because it's basically the same as having Tet everything. Well, accessories are try, but it's basically a soft cap. And then you have one item you can then first enhance to pen, but for everything else, you just treat it as backup. And then you enhance a second set of the actual boss piece to pen. Do I just get like uh we're doing can your issue or gear becomes increasingly important um at all gear scores? I would say. Gear is always important in this game. I guess I'll just buy a Manos knife and then see if I can actually get anything from Sheeps. I don't know if I should even bother. I don't really know how life scaling works nowadays after they made these uh, changes to the life scaling content. I did all of my life scaling before they made those changes. Like, you know how in Perfect World, when you get, like, a lot of gear, like, if you're full plus 11, and then you get, like, plus 12, it's, like, less of a difference compared to, like, if you were plus 10 and you got plus 11, because, like, your stats are already high, and then this relative, the stats that you get for plus 12 is relatively less compared to the stats you get from plus 11. Like, this game doesn't have that. Like, every stat is just as important as the previous one. Because the formula kind of like adjusts the calculation so that it maintains the um, for all AP DP that it's always roughly the same importance. People don't gather here anymore, do they? Well, it's not really attack levels either, because with attack levels, if you have like 
100 attack levels, you're doing 100% damage, and then you get 10 more, you're doing 110%. But then compared to, like, if you were doing, if you had, like, one attack level, and then you get 10 more, it's, it's still less of a difference. Going from, like, 1 to 10 is 10 times. And going from uh, 100 to 110 is like 0 0.1 or 1.1 1. 1. 1 times. So it's not even like attack levels. It's not like PWI at all. Actually, I'm not going to do gathering. The, the drop rate doesn't seem really that high for fire horns. I'm just going to go to Poly Forest. What kind of attack level you need to go from 100 to mimic 1 to 10? Uh, yeah, so like... Yeah, so like, if you get one, like going 1 to 2, it's the 2 times. And then 2 to 3, it's only 50. But on BDO, it's like, you're always doubling every time. Like it's exponential, sort of. It's not exactly because like there are certain there's also the concept of brackets where at certain uh AP you get a bunch of bonus AP in one go once you reach that particular AP. Um but for the most part every AP is just as important, so and same with DP. So gear kind of always matters. It's kind of like Terra, where the older armor is equal to nothing on new content, where a new cap is introduced. Well, technically... Technically, no, because there is only ever one set of cap. But I, I guess you could think of it that way. Like, technically, the cap has always been full pen everything. Uh, full C20 everything. It's just very difficult to reach that uh very few people have it so it it's kind of like there's always a new cap because of how few people there are at the cap um so as the general population of your people who are like around your gear score move up to the to like a higher gear score then it kind of could seem like that the cap has moved up so you could think of it that way, but uh, I guess technically speaking, it's always been the one cap. It's just that everyone else has moved moved up the ladder. You mean like uh, gear score brackets for people to PvP against, or...? Yeah, I think that does make sense. But... I don't know if maybe the game... 
Like, I, I don't know why, but in theory, seasonal should be, like, kind of that bracket. Like, you, you th in theory, is just be able to go every season, get max here on seasonal, and then just PvP. But it seems like a lot of people still prefer playing on their on the main server. And then, but then you also have a uh, territory war, or not territory war, node war brackets. I mean, it could just be the MMO culture, yeah. Because if you look at like an actual competitive game, then those people obviously care more about skill. Yeah, but seasonal is basically a bracket. But people don't like recognize it as such. What the hell? That guy just got one shot. I didn't even mean to do that. Okay then. I I just wanted to poke him. See if he's AFK or not, but he just died instantly. Like what? See, actually reward best player in a given bracket. See, they did have like a tournament the first season, I think, if I recall correctly. But then that was it. So I don't know if that really counts as a reward. I don't know if that really counts for anything. But then that's what I was, ta I was talking about earlier. There's also a uh, Node Wars. So Node Wars is basically like Guild Wars Guild content. Uh, it's a guild free for all. So basically you bring your guild into a war zone and your guild fights against any number of other guilds. Um, and that there are brackets for that. You can do the T1 bracket. And there are actually three brackets in T1 where it caps your AP and DP to three different levels. But the problem with that, though, I think, is that kind of caps it too low. Like, it caps it below Pentuvala, even. Like, even less than Seasonal Gear. So either you're fighting at below Seasonal Gear score, which is not very fun, because the damage just feels too low at that gear score, I think. Or you're actually just like fighting without caps. Like those are the only two options. But even then, it's actually pretty popular for people to do uh, T1 Node War. But that, but like they don't have the same um, sentiment when it comes to seasonal. It seems like. So I don't really, I don't really fully understand people's mentality when it comes to PvP and BDO. You got one shot too. I think he. I, well, he took a bit more hits. I had to use one of my more powerful skills. Whereas this this guy, I don't think he's geared at all. Actually, he's kind of geared still. Whereas this guy, actually, hmm. He took me. Well, I don't know. These people aren't super geared, to be honest. But another problem with Node War that I was talking about earlier is that it's not really a battle royale. 
because there's no rules against teaming. Like normally in an actual free for all, uh, you're not uh, supposed to team, because then it's not a free for all, right? But it's it's like a free for all setting. But if you team, then that's completely fine. So it just ends up into people teaming. So it's like there's a lot of uh, politics going on instead. It's like whichever like guilds always try to find allies in order to maximize their chances. So ultimately, the guild that wins isn't always going to be the guild that's best at like battle royale or free for all or whatever. It's going to be the guild that's uh, good at politics and able to f team up with people, and then be the last alliance remaining. And then manage to come out like either have a good agreement to get the win, get given the win, or then beat out their allies. So, they should make it the guild with the most collective kills. But they wanted to make it objective based, is the thing, right? There's supposed to be an objective to it. It's the objective is to kill the most you can for the guild. I mean, that's not really an objective then. Like when you think objective, you're thinking, you know, capture the flag. Capture the zone, destroy this building. Like that's that's objective. I mean objective in like the gaming sense. Not like the sense of do this. When you play an objective based game, you are doing things. You're going to places where the game gives you a reason to go to. Rather than free roaming. And I mean, they very well could make a mode where it's just a uh, free for all with uh, whoever kills the most wins, but they don't do that. Well, technically, it's actually RBF, but RBF is. Not really that, because RDF is more whoever gets the last kill wins. Rather than whoever gets the most kill wins. You know, it's like uh, territory around Perfect Road, right? Where you have a crystal and you need to kill it. Well, on this game, there's a fort and you need to kill it. So they wanted to kind of make it in like in that uh, design philosophy. <laughs> if if they can't kill me, so they kill the horse. You know, it would be funny if that was an actual mechanic. But I feel like the developers, um... I don't know. Maybe they think people will grieve too much. But if you park your horse, it actually gets immune to damage. From players, at least. Only mobs can kill it. You know, I, I tried killing horses before. Not gonna lie. But the game wouldn't let me.
Oh, he came back. I thought he was just gone. I thought he was just gonna leave. But okay. I'll take it. Predicted where he was gonna go. I actually just looked at the minimap. Oh, wait. He didn't park his horse. See? If you don't park your horse, then you can kill it. But you can just park it like that. Then it can't be killed by players anymore. And I think it's actually, it might be a bug, because it's supposed to automatically park it, but sometimes it doesn't. Either that or they're trying to make the game more difficult and remove the automatic parking under certain conditions. You know, it is a bit unfortunate, but I just wanted to explain the art of uh, not parking your horse. Or the dangerous rather of not parking your horse. In fact, I don't even think there's a stable nearby. I think he probably has to go all the way back to town. Like, he can actually go here. That's actually not too far away. I think it's fine. See, where even is Adaraxion, though? Because these fire horns are not fulfilling. So I think I'm just going to have to Google it. After uh, I check out up here, of course. Alright, so let's see. This guy. See, I can't attack this horse. Because he parked it. That's what I mean. If you're like this guy, you don't have to worry about your horse being killed. But maybe you have to worry about yourself being killed. But at least this horse will be safe and sound. Okay, so where is Adaraxia? So I don't really know. Because if no one's at Danger Stone Stream, that they're either already inside, or they're just not doing it on Seasonal. And that's the only two explanations I can think of. So I might potentially just have to do um, RBF until the pre-order fills, which could be, I don't know, never. Because you actually have to do a bunch of gathering for those fire hordes. Unless they introduce a new way to get fire hordes from something. But these are I sold the fire hordes I've gotten. Or I literally only got 17 through all the time I did gathering. Yeah, I assume everyone's looking for it, but you have to gather for it. So are people doing gathering? I don't think so. I don't really see anyone doing gathering.
Because the uh, Sheep Mountain is the most popular place. And, and I don't see anyone there. Technically, can do gather on any server. But I think... Uh, I don't know. Can you, I don't know if you can... I would assume you could wear gathering gear on seasonal server, so that shouldn't be an issue. And, and so if you can wear gathering gear, then it doesn't matter which server you do it on, because the drop rate isn't affected by um, the server type. It's only affected by how many people are doing the gathering at that time. So the goal would actually be to find a server where no one goes to. Yeah, like I said, you have to f you want to find a server where no one goes to. So if you had a seasonal character that can do gathering, then technically it would be the least populated server for gathering. But I doubt most people have a seasonal character that can do gathering though, so that could be the th issue. Because in order to effectively gather, you, you need to um, level your gathering ability through a bunch of grinding. Uh, grinding in terms of the, in the gathering sense. You need to gather to level it. You need to grind that up. And the more you do it, the more effective it becomes. So if you already have a character that has high gathering level, then for highest profit, you would actually want to stay on that character, even if you are potentially not able to go on the seasonal server to reduce competition. So ultimately, I don't really know if people are doing Yazring or not, though. This gathering isn't really as popular as it used to be. People are now saying uh, grinding is better profit, but if you already are a gatherer, then I wouldn't imagine you would suddenly switch to grinding. You kind of just do both, maybe. I thought I saw some. Someone should be here because there was dead mobs, but I'm not seeing anyone. Oh wait, someone is over here. Lost striker. Lost Striker. The only Striker here, though. Right now, every spot is literally grinded by one person only. And I can't get into the dungeon. So I don't know what to make of this. There's also only 13 people doing RBF right now. Which is a pretty low number actually.
Honestly, I wonder if people are actually just uh, not playing seasonal. Because normally there's at least 20 doing RBF. Time to play solo. It might be. There's 59 and 40 on normal servers, though. Gear gets adjusted up. Uh, I feel like that might just be a myth. I've never seen it get adjusted up personally, but who knows? Yeah, I I've never seen it get adjusted up. But like, may maybe if you're like you know, ten AP, zero DP. It will adjust you to like a hundred AP, you know. Then it wouldn't technically be lying, but I just never seen it. Guess maybe no one at ten AP joins the game. And maybe it wouldn't really be noticeable anyway, even if they did join. This here, Dean. Oh, look, I got Fire Horse. The pre order fulfilled. That's pretty lucky out of 20,000 orders. How many are left? Oh, wow, someone fulfilled 10,000 orders. <laughs> the game heard you talking about solo and got scared. True, true. I mean, I better be scared with uh, Lost Art coming out, Eldian coming out, then there's even New World, Ashes of Creation. You know. Video is really losing uh, its PvP player base at this rate, I feel like. Like, why go on Arsha, you know? Objective, like pure profit wise, it's actually you actually lose more money going on Arsha because of the PvP than you gain from the 50% drop rate increase. That's why you see like one person on Arsha. This guy's in the ghillie suit though, so that's kind of weird. Arsha is what you call the PvP server. And the reason for that is because it's literally called NA Arsha. Well, apparently the guy who I just killed rage quit. So... That's a bit unfortunate. 
Never mind, he's still here. Wait, why did he say he why did he say he's out? He literally said he quit. And then he came back. I guess he outplayed me. Yep. <laughs> I I guess I guess that's how you outplay. Just pretend to leave. What even is this tactic? I mean, I wouldn't even care so much if it wasn't for the fact that there's no PvP at all right now. Like, if there's actual PvP going on, I don't even read chat. In-game chat, that is. Check out the blue pill. I mean, it's the new class. It would be weird to not see them. Wait, why does the name fit? Oh, maybe he did quit for real. I guess he came back to kill me and then quit? I, I don't get it. What if I just grind here? Will he come back? Wait, that's three people I see with a ghillie now. Where are these people getting guildies for their seasonal? What the hell? What happened to him? Wait, did he die to mobs? No, he just escaped, escaped at the very last minute. Guess that was pretty lucky. He had like 1% HP off from dying. Wait, where did the long go? I have no idea how he hit me when I was in block. So I, I still have 13% block meter left. So I should have been able to block. Okay, well, that was just misclick. I pressed Q by accident in uh, Awakening form.
The thing I don't like about this place is that it's pretty huge. It's really hard to uh, find where people are if you come back from death. Oh, and the mob CC. Right, of course. That's another thing. Well, you can't have PvP if no one dies. It's only PvP if someone dies. But that doesn't matter, though. It, it does. It's still hard to come back, which is what I don't like about this place. It makes this like not really a place that's good for PvP. I don't think that's a good thing. I want it easy for them to come back. I don't think you understand. I want there to be PvP. I personally don't care too much about that. Because this isn't the place where you get outnumbered. Like, there are for certain places where you can get all number pretty easily. But this isn't one of those places, so I'm not worried about it. So I'd rather it be easy to come back.
Hmm. Got CC'd by mob there. Twice. Found him this time. I got him both both that time. Like poly for like I don't like fighting at spawn. Like at uh say poly forest or Miramok or Mansion, because yeah in those places it's really easy to get outnumbered. But this is a place where you have to go out a bit from spawn, but you have to go out a bit too far. The perfect place for me is like, like I feel like the perfect PvP place in my opinion is probably Gahaz or Crescent, because you can't, you don't fight at spawn. You have to go out a bit, but you go out just far enough where like you can immediately find PvP, but you also like don't just like immediately come back. Like like there has to be a, like there's a balance in those two places, if you know what I mean. There's certain places you do get outnumbered, you have to worry about that, but there's also certain places where you don't get outnumbered. And the main challenge in this place is more so the mobs, because the mobs here CCs you. Wait, why is there no empty slot? What? The fuck? Okay then, that's weird. That's the name of the song. It's just a... It's a playlist. I didn't make the playlist. See, like that. Okay, good thing I was in SA trade range for the lawn. I think, see, he got CC'd by the mobs too. So depending on how you look at it, this could be like 
It's just the everyone's getting outnumbered here because the mobs always outnumber you. In which case, it wouldn't really matter how far away the spawn is. So it might as well be closer. Maybe they shouldn't have came back separately. I guess the lawn is bad, which is unfortunate. I'm, I'm gonna stay like around here so they know where to find me. Probably too risky was the serpent. I don't know if you, like, are familiar with the combat in this game, but this game is, like, more of a game where the goal is to not get CC'd in the first place. Like, on PWI, you let yourself get CC'd and you kind of, like, judge the damage and tank it. But on this game, you just don't want to get CC'd, period. If you get CC'd, you shouldn't expect to die. If you live, it's more of a miracle rather than something you did personally. Because there's actually no mechanic that lets you live through a CC that you can, like, actively trigger. Sometimes they live through the CC. No, I don't think so. If you get CC'd, you should expect to die. You should not you should aim to not get CC'd, period. It's it's just bad practice to, to expect to survive a CC, in my opinion. Like, surviving a CC is not a, really a display of skill in this game, unless you are one of the two classes where you can command a pet to, like, do something right before you get CC'd, which is, like, basically wizard and witch, and maybe tamer. Wizard and witch is basically the same class, though.
So what's the what's the like what's the new serpent timing? It's actually too risky for me to serpent sometimes. Yeah, that was a CC. Yeah, I don't know the exact moment because there's a delay. Yeah, when you get CC, you're on the ground. Well, technically, no. There's still CCs where you just stand still. Did I find PvP? Not really. Seasonal is kind of dead right now. When are we going to run the new dungeon? I actually got the Fire Horde pre-order. I'm trying to kill the lawn. And Corsair right now. I can try and point out if I get the CC. Okay, I got the see I got the CC on the lawn there. And now he dies. And now okay, I got the grab. And now he should die. Okay, so he CC me when I was in iframe. So I desync out I think. Okay, I didn't get the stun, because I didn't notice he was knocked down by the mob. Can't really see too clearly right now. Too many mobs around. Okay, I think I, I get CC by the mob. Okay, so that, so, okay. Okay, so he, he so he sees me from behind. So do you see what I mean now? Like if you get CC, you should just expect to die. So this, so like it's not like PWI. You should you shouldn't try to tank in this game. You should just try to avoid CC altogether. Okay, let me, I think I get him here. Okay, get CC by the mob again. That's, that's a stun. Like, that's the stun. 
That's one of the that's one of the standing CCs. I don't think this I don't think mobs do a stiff. Peter, you try to avoid CC? Hmm, I I don't think so. Like there are certain situations where you avoid CC. But it's not every class. Like if you're an assassin, sometimes. But not all but not always. It's a calcul a lot of the times it's actually it's a calculated risk. How did he CC me there? I think that's a C-Sync. Why well, get CC by the mob? No, you don't try to always CC all the time on the assassin. If you do it, that would be a mistake. It's when people try to avoid every single CC on PWI. That's like... And then they complain... About CCs. Why use title protection? Because if you don't get CC'd, you don't die. So of course you use title protection. No, to not die, not to avoid CC. Well, no, you're just wrong. No, I didn't. I, I literally just said, you, if you don't get CC'd, you don't die. But that doesn't mean you use Tidal Protection to avoid all CC. Like, there's a huge difference. Because saying that if you don't die, if you don't get CC'd, doesn't mean you die if you get CC'd. It, it's not, it doesn't work both ways. You can get CC'd and not die. Like, if you don't get CC'd, you can't die, but that doesn't mean you'll always die if you get CC'd. You can still get CC'd and not die. So, it, so they're not the same thing.
Where is forward guard? What? The law says I'm laggy, but the entire game is laggy. This is one situation where you gotta blame the game, not the player. <laughs> Me, I'm playing from the moon. Right, the game itself is laggy. PA needs to fix their game. But somehow I doubt even with ranked arena coming out they'll do anything about it. Higher time. I don't think he actually landed on the moon, did he? Hey, are the four? How are you doing? You have sushi? Nice. Yeah, I don't I don't think uh Jeff Bezos landed on the moon. Wasn't he up there for only like fifteen minutes? Compare me to. All right. Oh, I I I got these things out of the five frame. Okay. Eating a turkey sandwich. I guess picking the healthy choice. Good ninjas don't get desynced. I never said I was a good ninja though. But Pro of this one never fixed their game, so. Can't rec fix it, they don't recognize that it's fixing. Uh, 
you would think they recognize it from uh, all the uh, tournaments they've done. Okay. I don't get the... Never mind, I do get it. So I just kill him here. I'm out of WP pots though. Hmm. This could be problematic. Okay, no WP there. Have to... Okay, no HP pots either. I'm the laggiest player I've ever seen. He says I'm the laggiest player I've ever seen. I guess I just say thanks. Honestly, isn't that why they hired Armin? It's Armin's commentary. Maybe maybe they're taking the first step towards uh making the game more PvP oriented, but I doubt it. Not sure what that was about. Log into BDL. All right. Okay. I think that was a protected CC. Get out. Uh, he caught up. All right.
I teleported here for some reason. I hate it when that happens. They take the long route. Greetings. Hello. It's actually so much longer. Wait, what the fuck? What is? Wait, I have to go all the way back through Doomintrum? What the fuck? Isn't there a shorter path? There has to be a shorter path. I think this all the path is trolling me. Wait, what? There's no way this is the best shortest path. This has to be a troll. Wait, this isn't even where I died. What? There it is. That's CC. I don't think I follow the other path there. I think I just go. Right? No, I have to jump across. Oh no, there's a bridge there. Send me an invite. Mm. I mean, this isn't really PvP, so there's no need for you oh. to come. No? Okay, guess not. Yep. Yep. Time to go check out Polyforest, I guess. Unless you already checked? I did check. And uh, I guess there is nothing. Okay. I think I should pay more attention to the course there. There. I think I can grab him here. Okay, I got them both. Or not? Wait, he didn't get CC'd. Wait, Lon is back. No, nah, he went through the block. Reposition. No contest there. Ah, uh, no, he, he got the grab. It's too late. Okay, that wasn't fast enough. You want to keep 1v2ing? I mean, it's not really PvP. No one in come, I'll probably go do RPF or something. Even RBF is pretty empty today. It's like six people in RBF. Oh, fuck. Alright. 
small scale, I guess. We'll, uh, we'll call it small scale. I mean, this situation, if you come, they just leave. I don't even know where they are now. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. Are they duo always spotting? Are they grinding? Who knows? Also, you don't have Villa buff right now. You're here for a reason. I don't know if it's to grind or to do what, but... You could get Villa buff. I could. <clears throat> but I don't think it's the problem. I need to handle the mobs better. Not sure where the lawn is. I don't see him. I just want to keep the PvP going right now. But there isn't really... Case. Like, even right now, I don't know where the lawn went. Probably FK. I wonder if he's going to come back. Alright, I'll stay in this grind spot. See if he, see if he returns. I can see one dot. It's gone. Literally, don't see a second person. Oh, he got CC by the mob. That's unfortunate. Okay, so the lawn is just gone. So I think PP is already dead. RBF has what, 14 people? Usually there's like 26, I think. Unless the long got teleported to the um, lower place. But they should be back by now, even if they did.
Yeah, let's just make the fucking thing. How do you make the tier? You think the material? Uh What don't I need? I don't need sheep blood. I need two slots? What? I don't need two slots to make one item. Check Discord. It's a pretty good outfit. Good color scheme. I like it. Oh, fuck. Take out, uh... 36? No, that's too much. I- oh, fuck. I took out the wrong amount. Beast mob sitting me. Alright, let's just go- let's just go the attracts, yeah. See if there's anything the, actually in there. Did you get the materials? Yep. Really? So you have access now? Uh, I don't know if that's the end of the quest. Oh. Well, I um, I'm, I found some people at Polyforest, but none of them are really offering that much of a fight. Most people aren't really geared at Polyforest right now. So, see, the quest says make the tier, and then make another, tier, like, do more tier, and then do another tier. So, I, do, I wonder if you actually need to make three tiers, or if the quest is just memeing me. I guess we'll see. So, if you have to make three tiers just to finish this part, then that's kind of just... Should have pre-ordered more, I guess. I'm going all the way back to the ancient stone chamber. You like, uh, it's like a four minute trip. I doubt the Allopath Hatchery Council doesn't really tell you the true distance because it's as the crow flies, but you're getting such a windy area. This 2,500 meters cover will be like 4,000. Better estimate in the newer or in the older areas when there were more paths as by the crow flies. Yeah, it would be better if they actually just like gave you the actual auto path distance. Yeah, there's uh, there's like six people at Poly, but none of them are. 
There's no PK. I think most people right now at Poly are new, newer players, I feel like. People who aren't fully geared. I don't know where the fully geared people are grinding. I checked Blood Wolves earlier, and there was one striker, but he was more focused on grinding than PvP. Yeah, I feel like that's the thing. I mean, these people have some... Like, uh... Okay. I don't just want some gear, we want like full gear. But it's like people will go to T1, but they won't go to Seasonal Arsha. So I don't I don't really fully understand the uh, mentality of like what is considered uh, okay to be gear balanced and what isn't. I guess uh, the striker deals a lot of damage and has a DP stone. He has a DP stone? Yeah, he's actually Wait. pretty tanky. How do you know he has a DP stone? Because I see the buff. What, what what does the buff look like? It's a it's a yellow outline. It's a yellow it's a yellow stone instead of the purple buff. That's all. Uh, what? That's an alchemy stone, not a black, DP black stone. Oh, sorry, not a DP black stone. Although I did use a DP black stone in uh, RBF, it was pretty funny. Oh, okay. No, no, no. So I meant I meant a protection stone. I see. Actually, I see one person here. As a ninja awakening, how do I deal with a good warrior? Um, I mean, against most warrior, I mostly just try to uh, kind of like get back attacks and then try to get, get grabs. But I haven't really fought like any of the best warriors. I don't I think most of the best warriors they don't really uh, leave arena. So I can't really say for sure how I would deal with them. But against the warriors I fought it's mostly just been go for back attacks and go for grabs. Yeah, the thing about warriors is that if they go and pre awaken, they use a lot of funnel guards. So they, they try to spam shield charge on you. Um, and if you can predict shield charge, which they're pretty much doing every four seconds because they use skills off cooldown, um, then you can just get behind them and do something like a murderous or a beheading or something like that. Okay, so I'm in Adaraxion. This is like a completely different place. This is like not anywhere in the real world. Because I don't have a map here even. You can't press M? Yeah, there's no map here. So this is complete instance. This isn't like even in the real world. Interesting. So it's, it's, it's like more than battle arena. It's like a true separate instance. Yeah. Because at least with battle arena, you're on the map. Yeah, pretty much. This is its entire separate world. But it's kind of weird. Because... Hmm. I mean, I am on Arsha. And this is not a safe zone. It's harder to fight them than the old days. Like, how old are we talking about? Uh, this guy has res. You rest in RBF? Oh, wait, no, you're in the probably forest, never mind. Oh my god, he literally just went for the dash. This guy's like 50 different buffs, holy shit. Yeah, the slow debuff is kind of annoying. Mostly you just have to, to like, uh, play a bit more defensive. It's how I go about it when I get slow debuffed. 
No, they, they can't debuff you through frontal. Well, well, maybe where, not, where maybe not through frontal, but like even if you touch it, even slightly, like transition yeah, from you, frontal you to iframe. Touch right. it, then yeah, but you can literally just hold guard in front. Well, you can't really hold guard, because then they just grab you. Hmm. I guess uh, that is what I do. I just hold guard in front of them until they move. All right. What if I uh, attack this guy right here? Oh, it looks like this is a PvP zone, all right? Okay, what? Okay, well... Oof. He came back. I wonder where you respawn if you die here. I guess we're about to find out. Oh, look, they just respawn right here. This striker literally takes no damage. What the fuck? I'm full human damage and I still don't take damage. Oh, he ulted. Shit. Actually, he does no damage on his ult. Looks like the Uno isn't geared at all. It's only the striker that's geared. Wait, there's actually PvP at Adaraxion? Well, the Kuno's not geared. Hmm. Let's talk to this NPC real quick. Before they respawn. Wait, where are they? Are they just... Are they just leaving? Oh no, they're building a tent. It's like they have we're finished releasing convoluted content. <laughs> well, they need a quest line to like tell you where to go and stuff, so it kind of makes sense from a tutorial perspective. Are they gonna engage? I think Bruh. I'm getting CC'd by the mobs here. This, this striker legitimately takes no damage. What the? How is this guy so geared on a seasonal character? Oh. I'm like super confused. Are we gonna try a voice call with you? I don't know. We'll see. I feel like Sho is flirting. What do you think? I mean, the striker survived my uh, combo, but it's not that I don't talk to strangers. I just don't usually like join uh, Discord calls and stuff. This striker takes no damage. Why the fuck? I mean, Call was Chris since we were supposed to be doing PvP, but Season is kind of dead right now. It looks like those two aren't coming back, so I guess I'll kill these mobs.
I don't think I really need to kill these two. And they're actually kind of hard to kill. I guess I just go to the next area. So they spawn these things. Missing one kill. But I did get Bahasco Thorn. Well first I want to get rid of this mob. Oh, I see another person back there. Wait, is this does no this is a strike from earlier. Wait, how did he get away from back there? I messed up the combo. It's fine. I guess I didn't expect him to just do that. But he could just do that. So. Probably should have expected it. Striker does a lot of damage. Striker oh, isn't so really cool. broken. Yeah, Van plays Striker. See, I kill him just fine. No, what do you mean? I killed him ninja, just fine. Ninja privilege damage. He doesn't take nearly no damage. I just messed up my combo the first time. No, I'm fighting a striker right now. Yeah, but I'm oh not talking to you God. either. I mean, they're also using perfumes, I think. They're not per They're using draft. Well, you do get free draft. You got all the way to the Alta Nova main quest line. And swap your class. What the hell is even hitting me? So I'm. Okay, I, just, I guess I just keep going forward. Yeah, it's pretty nice that they uh, let you just switch class now, in case you uh, didn't like the first class you picked. I think that was a good move on their part. Oh, I see. Although I don't know why um, they had you delete your old season character, because you get to keep both characters. I think. So you can just keep it as an alt. What the fuck? Ah, okay. That's pretty rip. I guess we just keep going in, but there's no one else in here, as far as I can tell so far. Oh my god. He did it on purpose? 
Right, that's not nice. I guess the old school water above door trick. I can't really say I condone it, but no, you do you. By the way, you have a lot of standing here, microphone or something. I don't know what it is called. Is that One you, sec. or is that someone else? It might be me. I'm like trying to kill three people. I, I think you're the only person in call. There you right? go. I'm like, I mean, this is super quiet. You shouldn't be able to hear yourself. Yeah, but uh, it, it wasn't the, the echo, it was the static. I was hearing static for some reason. I don't think there's anyone that was in here other than that striker and Kuno. I guess we'll just keep going deeper and see what happens. I'm not sure if this is like still the entrance or if the dungeon already started. Like, I don't know if, like, I'm technically already in the first room or if this is just the entrance of the dungeon still. Are you s Oh my god, my gear is breaking. And they desync. Yes, so technically, this is already the dungeon then. Yo, let's just keep going deeper, I guess. Although I doubt there's anyone else in here at this point. I guess we'll see how far we can go before, like, I just can't do anything anymore. Because we still got quests here. Although they're only just giving contribution points, so it's not really that good. <laughs> so... What else? We get fuel stacks? We get knowledge? Oh, I can exchange the cold thorn for... Buffs. Interesting. What kind of buffs are these? I've never seen this type of buff. Debuff a, resistance against monsters? A Don't 20, get debuffed by monsters on a this. 20, 20 second duration buff? I guess it's an item that you can use. So, so like it's an item that you use at the right time. 
So they're trying to actually make it into a dungeon. That's really interesting. Oh, and they only work inside. Because if you leave, then they, they, they disappear. Yeah. It reminds me kind of like uh, Delta, almost, where you choose your buffs. I believe so, but I think you're supposed to use them um, like when you need it the most. Yes. Because it's only 20 seconds. Wait, listen to his opinion? Where do I do that? There we go. Activate. Let me act activate the do dopolinus in Bahas thread broken bonds. Checking command. Confirmed. Wait, what? I don't get it. Am I supposed to do something here? What the fuck? Okay. Try to solve this puzzle-like device. Oh, I guess this is the puzzle. I guess you have to do a puzzle. Well, I guess that's uh, that's the end of this dungeon for me, then. No PvP in the puzzle, I guess. It's... it's scales? Wait, what do you mean, it's scales? Oh, I see. They're supposed to put the boxes, like, on the device. Like on here, I'm guessing. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Well, kind of makes sense, but not really. And I'm guessing you need, like, one here as well? I'm not sure if those two do anything. Four on the right and two on the left. Are all the boxes identical? Oh, you can put them anywhere. I thought you had to put them on the white square for some reason. But if this side is taller, then this side is too light. Should I be taking one from here? And putting it into here? I'm guessing some of the boxes are heavier than others. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So I have to figure out which box is the heavier one? What? 
That's well. That's kind of a gonna be kind of annoying to solve. I guess it depends on how heavy it is. I guess if you have, um... Most of the box on one side. And then you just test the one box at a time. Then whichever one goes down the most, it should be it, right? Yeah, there's a lot of static on your end right now. I don't know why. And now and now it and now it's fine. That's weird because I did absolutely nothing. Scuffed mic? Maybe? I guess I'll put the tested one on that side and then the untested one this side. There should be a drastic difference on one of the boxes, right? Yeah. Or are they all just going to be the exactly the same? Well, so far they've been all exactly the same, unless this is the, unless it's this one. Okay. I mean, it has not really responded to any of the boxes. So, I guess you do three and three. Okay, well, apparently that's just work randomly. Can't say I really understood that. <laughs> it's weird. It does seem a bit scuffed. Because there was like no difference when I had four on one side and two on the other side with any of the combination. <laughs> If one is significantly heavier, there should be a response, I feel like. Yeah, I know you want to balance it in the middle, but... I wasn't... Wasn't really clear how to figure out which one is the heavier one. Yeah, because what I was thinking of was that if you had like 
a heavy box. Then when you just move that one box to the other side, there should be like a noticeable change. That's the thing you don't? Wait, what do you mean? But then, then you're just guessing if there's no way to figure out which one is switch. They change? Yeah, but I thought you were supposed to like weigh them to find out which one is the heavier one. Yeah, but this, the skill wasn't changing when I was like moving the boxes around. That's what I didn't understand. Like if one is heavier, I would imagine there'd be a big difference when one of them gets moved to the other side. But there was like no difference at all. Make a pass by defeating the ancient weapon. I don't think anyone is really back here. This is probably the second stage, I'm guessing. So if no, so, so it doesn't look like anyone has really caught into the second stage. I mean, it is PvP all the way through, but I don't there's going to be anyone here. What does this do? Hmm. To train the ancient weapons. None will be on it. Well, you never know for sure. I mean, I'm on it. Because on Reddit, people were complaining that uh, people keep kept messing up the solution to the puzzle. So, you know, the solution to that is to just kill whoever's messing up your solution. Then no need to complain. Have I seen anyone? Yes, I actually have seen two people earlier, remember? We have the uh, Striker and the Kuno. But I think they were either just checking it out or they left after I killed them. I'm not sure which. I think, um, I think it might be time to leave, though. I doubt I'll be able to complete the whole thing by myself. I mean, I could try. I kind of doubt it. Since it is supposed to be a five-man dungeon. But I also don't really care so much about the reward of this dungeon, so much as just looking for potential PvP spots. To be perfectly honest, so... I mean, let's just, let's just go and see how far I can get before I'm just, I don't know, gear checked by not having four people with me. Let's we'll, we'll just see how far we can go, perhaps. Okay, well... Already... I'm just getting CC'd. 
Okay, what even is this? Okay then, but they're not doing any damage to me. Am I doing something wrong? Why not do this with Neo? I don't know. Maybe I can lure him out? No, I'm still getting hit. Oh, wait, I maybe that's what the musket is for. Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to shoot down the birds flying in the sky with the musket. I earned the title of the first queen. Well, not exactly a queen, but... Wait, I can't open my maid in here. I can't feed my pet. Guess I'll just have to use my dragon then. Yeah, what the hell is this? No mute button. Hmm. Eat food? What do you mean eat food? I have plenty of food. Why, why would I eat food in real life right now? Oh, fuck. Wait, I'm... Wait, I'm fine? Or am I stuck down here? Oh, I think... I think I'm just... Wait, how do I get back up? Am I both about to run out? No, it's not. I have 26 minutes. What do you mean it's about to run out? Well, how, do, how do I get back up? I guess I can try climbing back up. I do have ninja double jump after all. Need health levels? Nah, I don't think so. Okay, I guess we're home free. Oh, wait, I was supposed to actually go back. Fuck. Okay, now we go forward. I'll be outskilled. Well. Eating food is already taking too much skill, so I guess that is true. I guess I can just safely ignore the mobs. But now what? Another puzzle? By using motions of the ancient weapon to activate. Hmm. 
minion what? Do I just lure them here? They don't get lured here though. Huh. Oh, but it's not that one. It's the next one. I think I just move forward here, actually. Hey, wait, someone's here. Or, wait, no, he's not. He's on a different floor, actually. I think he's above me? Hmm. I see him on the map, but I don't see him physically. And how did he get up there? Do you climb? Let's try climbing. And before this is just a long way up. I'm coming for him. I, I guess he's also stuck on what to do here, which is unfortunate. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked him while he was trying to figure things out, but it is what it is. It looks like he was probably trying to solve the puzzle. Huh. Do you need to, like, get him to one of these paths? Maybe go where the gold thing is? Something like that? That doesn't seem to be it. But what is he supposed to do exactly? Doesn't look like these are attackable. Is this not one of those quests where you have to type in common chat the answer? It, you can't really attack this. Like one, two, three. One, two, three, two. And then what? One, two, three, two, and then what? What are you supposed to do with that information? What are you supposed to do with that information, though? Anything down there I can attack? You don't know this one? Mm. 
Might be stuck on this one here. Let's see what he's let's see what he's trying to do. Okay. So the first one, the second one, and the third one. And then it stops. He enables PvP mode. I'm just hiding here. And then the mob deactivates. This is less of a puzzle and more of like, or less of a dungeon and more of a puzzle game at this point. I thought this was like a braid dungeon, but yours is here solving puzzles instead. I don't think he knows what to do either. He's just standing here. Yeah. I agree. I think... Uh, I doubt there's any guides. Since it's just released and all. But honestly, I was kind of expecting there to be, like, you know, more fighting involved. Alright, let's just teleport out. How do you even get out? Wait, I can't map out. Okay, then. You can't map out, you can't open the map. What the fuck? I'm just trapped in here. What if I enter RBF? Oh wait, but if I enter RBF, I just get teleported back anyways. Back to the start, but do I have to walk all the way back manually? That would be kind of lame. This uh seems kind of familiar to that mob thing earlier. I'm not sure if this is exactly correct though. It's similar, but I don't think that's how you do it. There's multiple of these circle things. I'm surprised they just let you keep going deeper and deeper. I thought there'd be like a door. Oh wait, or is this back to the entrance? I actually see a team on the other side. But I can't get through. 
I guess I would have to solve the puzzle to get through. There's like a team of four on the other side of this. God damn it. Well, nothing to do but go down, I guess. There's nothing even down here. Fuck, I'll just escape, escape. It did, the, the fall didn't even kill me. I mean, if I take fall damage, I shouldn't die. Fall damage doesn't, or fall damage doesn't break crystal, I mean. That's what I was kind of banking on. But at this rate, I doubt I even remember the way back. What's a cannon awakening weapon? What do you mean? Uh, are you talking about the one you get from the quest? I think you get it as part of the quest line when you do Medea, but I forget. It's been a while since I've done that. I just got trolled by a ranger at Poly Forest. They uh, they claimed they claimed I was tryharding on my main, and uh, they wouldn't one v one me. So. Or, like, they refused to 1v1 me when I offered, because I killed him 1v3. And then uh, I said I would fight him on a ranger. But he said he was not going to fight me, because ranger is also my main. I mean, he's not wrong. Damn! So yeah, apparently I can just uh, infinite iframe have multiple mains these days. Why can't you have multiple mains? Makes sense to me. All right, I guess we go back to the ancient stone chamber. Are you keep on doing the quest? I got stuck at the second puzzle. Did you complete the puzzle? I completed the first puzzle kind of randomly, but the second Just... puzzle, I don't really get it. Like, like you see the mob do, uh, like give you like kind of like a I don't know a code of sort, but then I don't know what you're supposed to do with that information. I like, see. The description kind of sounds like you're supposed to make, like, like in the next section, there was like these uh, pads on the floor that kind of look similar to what the mob was doing. But I tried to stand on those pads in the order that the mob showed me, and it didn't really do anything. So I don't really get it. It's just, kind of, it's just kind of weird there's so much puzzle solving and what's supposed to be kind of like uh, the BDO version of Raid, you know? So... So, nothing at Poly Forest? Uh, there was like six people, but I killed them all, so... How about now? Um, just the people that wanted to grind. Hmm... I did. I did have a one v three, which was kind of nice. But the uh, the ranger got very aggressive. It's kind of interesting. I mean, nothing wrong with that. Oh, I'm, I'm checking Miramok right now. Miramok, oh, there was. Uh, oh wait, who was that? Fuck. You went in the safe zone. God damn it. Oh, he's coming out. Alright. Thanks for coming out. Oh, he wants to rest. Okay, you beast. Can you be into safe zone? Can you be into safe zone? 
Does he come back out? Wait, why are there people at Forest of Seclusion? Oh, he does come back out. Okay. He gets called again. Is it part of the, is it part of the quest line or what? That's where you enter, Adaraxio. Oh, I see. Oh, it's it's fairly convenient. That's nice. For some reason, I thought you'd have to go to Crescent. He asked if he can do his quest, but he came back. What? <laughs> what? Bro, he came back. I was gonna let him leave. I missed that guy though. He literally beat into save zone, and then he came back out of save zone, and then he asked if he can do his quest, as if it's my fault. I don't know what to say to that one, man. I noticed that the music stopped. Let me uh, fix that real quick. I'm not sure why it stopped, though. Shouldn't really be stopping. Supposed to autoplay. All right, there we go. I'll come back. Thank you, uh, Mr. The Nova dying after he uh, came out of safe zone to attack me and then asked me if, uh, asked me to let him do his quest, even though he came for me, which is pretty catchy. He came to you to ask you to do his quest. He's, uh, he came and was, uh, he was merely asking for permission from the Elder Tor of your face, kind of like paying respects, you know? To the elder gods. Mm, no, I don't know about that one. Ah, it is interesting that the cosmic horror cannot comprehend itself. But yeah, so far, Adaraxia looks like no PUP inside. Um, and the entrance is technically a safe zone. So you can only kind of PvP like slightly outside of it. But they could insist uh pass straight into safe zone and you can't really do anything about it. As for uh Miramok, doesn't seem to be anyone here either. Your guild is asleep. That is unfortunate. My guild does not exist. It's uh, It only has 10 people in it. And uh, only one of the other person is AFK. Where is the XP rotation for Miramok? Honestly, it feels like um, the season has been kind of dead recently. Yeah, I agree. So I'm gonna check Murray Cave, but I don't really know what the um, future of seasonal BDO is gonna be. If uh, people are mostly just done with seasonal at this point, or if they if we're just gonna wanna... see a revival. I mean, there's other games for you to play. There's other work for me to do, so. Nothing wrong with that. Well, that's not what I asked. You asked if this, what the future of Seasonal might be, though. And uh, it looks like the Seasonal servers just might be dead from here on out. 
All right, let's see what uh, what this situation is over here. All right, I saw one person grinding. Uh, I forgot what this place is even called. Mantrums. Oh, he's just going randomly CC. Mansions. There's like one other person that I just saw. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, it's a ninja. I think this is kind of like a free for all situation. It's funny that people are complaining about Gilly suit on season though. Just like old times, huh? I mean, if the seasonal character is going to be their main character, then they can see why they might choose to go Gilly. for the bitches. True, I don't... I mean... Personally, Gilly, I... I'm not, like, too stressed about it. But... I can't see how it can be annoying. Would never be to that extent where... I need to rage type about it in common chat to people though. Oh, he got he resisted. He survived. I guess it's only fair because he resisted. Wait, there's actually people there. I might actually come. Because I'm not too far off. Well, there was people here. I don't know if they're still going to be here in a few minutes. Let's see what happens. He didn't get kicked. Is this SA trade him? Nope. Kind of random. Wow, this person slid. Wait, so you're running. It's not like he was running bong on that. I think that was just bad timing on my part. This is the Gilly course there. But not anymore. Is this grinding? That long side even trying to fight. This ninja's trying to fight though. Wait, how did he resist again? Alright, let's just kill the course there first. Alright, I just grabbed him. Oh wait. Uh I got vacuumed after I grabbed him. 
Or I tried to grab him in the vacuum razor. Maybe that wasn't uh all that good, but I guess I will come Maria Cave since uh no one here at Mantrum anymore. The guy left. What happened to the 30 people PKs in the beginning of the season, Wait. I'm not sure. That's, what I, was, like, that's uh, what I was talking about earlier. See, people will do T1 no door all day, but feels like season doesn't really get the same treatment. You need help with what? Belt, a ring, and an earring. AP and DP. I mean, everyone needs AP and DP. What the hell? both AP and DP. So I, I guess what what is that you need to help with? Want to know like what to get first or um so which class are you getting this for? Your warrior? I feel like Warrior, since it's so combo heavy, I think they can probably kill with less AP than most other classes. Well, maybe not most other classes, but like they can deal with slightly less AP if like you have a if you're good at comboing. Whereas in like uh, open world and large scale situation, um. Since they're more of a melee frontal guard SA class, they tend to get vulnerable to uh, being SA traded. I feel like Warrior would do a bit better with DP if you had to choose. And like for like from like a pure PvP perspective. Uh PvE obviously you go AP. Because you always go AP for PvE. But I think for PvP it might be better to go for DP if you have to choose. I don't play Warrior, so I don't know if that's 100% accurate, but it's just based on like what I've seen from other Warriors. I don't think you want to go like f full DP though. It's more like if you could only afford AP or DP, then that's where you choose to go DP first and then go AP. But I don't, but like, it's not like you go, go only DP. I don't think that's like really what you want to do for warrior. And that's for what DP belt bring. I think there's only really only one good one, right? Like you go for Centaurus or belt. Um what is it like Sisso for necklace? And then I don't know what the earring is. But I think there's really only one good one for each for each I'm not getting what you mean.
you want with both AP and DP on it. Well, in that case, I think there's really only, uh... I don't really know the names, so I have to, like, check it. I don't think there's, like, a lot of accessories that fit that description. Most of the time, you only go for one, I think. And then you just mix and match as needed. If you check on the marketplace, I think you can... I think there's, like, pretty much only one that fits that criteria. Like they're like forest or narwhals. Wait, you're getting attacked. But if you want, you can actually go on a uh, BDO planner, or just check the central market. It's more for PvE. I don't know, I feel like for PvE you just want to go pure AP. Like DP makes sense in PvP, but for like for PvE, you don't really need DP. Until you're grinding like the absolute endgame spots, but by then you should just have everything already, and it's not really a concern. You should already have the you should already have best in slot gear once you're grinding super end game stuff. Because um, otherwise, I'm not really aware of any really good hybrid solu situ solutions. Like, Ring, you have Ronaros. And, like, I'm pretty sure that's it. Necklace, you have Sissos, and I think that's it. I think Earring is literally just Narc. And I think Bell is literally just uh, Orc and Rad. I think that's like that's the only uh, like those are the only ones that gave both, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I mean, I know you people would use uh, Siso in like a uh, more DP heavy build, and sometimes people use Narks, but that's even then that's still for like PvP only.
All right. I feel like they're not even really teamed up. Or are they? They're not. Alright. Guess we go for both of them. And then go for the lawn. Looks like that's a wipe. Someone just got the uh, infinite mana pot. the Corsair here. Hmm. What the hell? Wait, how did I die? I guess uh, I just met the same fate. Wait, that doesn't even make sense. I didn't even get hit by anything. Well, I got grabbed, so that was kind of a bad play. I expected to kill the lawn in one hit, but he survived. Why would you kill him in one hit? Because he was pretty low HP when I got to him. Maybe isn't that a bit too optimistic? I mean, I did have the power of your face on the side. So. No, because I died. I, I, I don't even know what killed me. I guess you got the kill. I actually deal damage now. Never mind. Guess I have no damage compared to flashing light. He says, he says party. party Why? Why though? They could party. No. I see grab has no lawn for the next three seconds. I just said the grab has no lawn for the next three seconds. I mean, technically that is true. Cause I did not grab the lawn in the next three seconds. I mean, I can't lawn grab cooldown because I just SA trade them for the next ten seconds. Man, flashing light is actually so scuffed against grab for some reason. Is it dodging it? Oh, let's see if I can peel. Like for some reason, if they have a ranged grab. It's, it catches flashing light every time. Or not flashing light. You were saying flashing light earlier, but I meant silent charge. Grab his stuff against silent charge. Yeah. Stick around for cross. Yep. 
I guess, uh, let's chase him. Wait, what? Damn. I guess I shouldn't have gotten involved with the ninja. I didn't see him respond for some reason. Well, double kill here. Maybe triple kill? I didn't notice he respawned. Are you seriously building 10? What do you mean? What else would you do to repair your gear? Good point. Super slow. Yeah, I got slowed See, and then grabbed. That's kind of bad. I shouldn't have used flashing right? light there. I think I'm about to die. Yeah, I just need a V. He says, fuck these fucking shitty ass servers. Oh my god, I didn't see the Corsair, that's gilly. Yeah, PA needs to fix their game. Fuck these fucking shitty ass servers, I guess. Are you gonna die? I guess you're gonna die. I don't know how I got that stage traded, but... Wait, where did he even come from? How did he, how did he jump from the sky? We're, we're moving a bit too close, I think. I just didn't, I just didn't notice where he came from. I thought he was like... Far away for some reason. We said he jumped from the sky. I mean, that's basically lawn in a nutshell. Except he's not a lawn, so. Maybe what? not. So maybe not exactly the answer. Did they have to sense the party yet? <laughs> Did I find PvP? We're not really sure if they're partied or not. What the fuck? I got memed. I actually just got memed. Fucking mobs. You're uh, alone for the next three minutes. I assume you fell down. Yes. Yeah, you memed yourself, man. You outplayed. That is the highest tier I've outplayed imaginable. Unfortunate. Oops, I thought I weapon swapped. Damn, this is a, a good place to chop trees for life skilling, and yet we're murdering people. How war changes people, man. How war changes people. Hey, what do you mean? How is this a peaceful place to chop trees? There's skeletons everywhere. No, just like in the surrounding, the lower levels. There's so many nice, peaceful trees, you know? I thought I had time to Serpent and then dash out, but I guess I didn't. I literally just walked up to him and stiffed him. I think my muscle memory is still like 
uh, too ingrained from back when Serpent was faster. It, it got slower? Yeah, Serpent got slower. When did it get slower? A while ago. I've never heard of that. A while ago. But Serpent did get slower. They literally just walked, and I died. I can now die to walking, Wayne. What is this? Wait, I'm not at full uh, speed. I think he just died. Yeah. Anyone over here? The ninja said he was leaving though. Uh, but, I, but I wonder if this one doesn't want those baits. Where they pretend they're leaving, but they don't actually leave. They got me with that one earlier. Okay, I should be able to Serpent here, and then go into... Guess not. Wait, how come the Lawn didn't die from that? I thought the Lawn would die from that. It's not. That's weird. I must I miscalculated that. Oh. In fact, the Lawn took almost no damage. That's weird. I'm traumatized? Bruh. Like I said, no good deed goes unpunished. I wanted to let him leave because he, he said he was leaving, but I got tricked. Wait, what? How did they get CC'd and then move all the way over there? I think he moved all the way over there and then he got CC'd. Impossible! I saw him twitch, then he was CC'd. Here, I'll, I'll hold frontal guard for you, in front of you, so you're safe. What? What does that even mean? Yeah. Wait, no, the ninja is still yeah. over there. He's just not fighting yeah, anymore. Yeah, he's, he's just fighting. Oh, well, I think the lawn just... Never mind, the lawn's still here. Tell Neil to stream? Well, that's up to him. Let's be. What happens if I just violation? I guess the violation literally just kills him. Maybe uh, we can track the Honestly, fight to the ninja. Track the fight to the ninja and then kill the ninja at the same time. Yeah, see? Just so like that. The long uh, e buffed and then immediately died. What can I say? <laughs> I guess the ninja's mad now. That's uh, pretty unfortunate. It's, unfortunate. it's very unfortunate. But see, the fight got dragged to him. It's not really our fault. Oh, I might have died, bitch. Well, I thought his grab was on cooldown. I literally just saw him grab. I was counting. <laughs> what? He took no damage from Serpent. It just... Are you gonna kill him with damage? Bra! All you had to do was kill him!
I trusted you. I thought. Wait. Did you slide the skill twice? Bonds down. But I'm slow to help. I guess uh, I don't even have time because I slow sea swapped. Oh, looks like the ninja's back. I actually wasn't about to attack him. But it looks like he attacked first. Now he's saying we're bad. Let me heal. But he is bad cause mad. Guess I stole the kill with the ball. Crap? Nope. That was my thing. Do it. Careful, one's back. I forgot you can't grab that now because they can iframe instantly now. Did you so that's, so that's so you can't really grab the vacuum anymore. Okay. He uh grabbed me on the spawn. Wow, the damage. How did that work? Wait, how did I get CC in knife frame? What? Doesn't that happen to you like every day? Like but, every hour, every minute? But like, I literally all finished casting like 80% of ninja step and then I got CC'd. Oh my god. Brilliant. I guess he V'd and I didn't notice. I thought he died. From like the lawn or something. Well, I killed the ninja by accident. Oh, looks like a V. No choice. Oh, the lawn respawn. To really pay more attention to the respawns. Like, that's the one thing I don't really pay attention to. Honest back up. Like, I'm more used to, like, the slower style of Perfect World, where if you die, it takes, like, a while to respawn. You don't just get to respawn immediately and attack. So that's, like, one thing I haven't really been paying attention to in video. Damn, didn't get the CC with the Hail Mary. Well, for some reason, I didn't die. Probably because he decided to vacuum stuff DPS. Yeah, I didn't die either. Ninja's back. And then, see, I get CC in knife frame again. You know what? My gear is breaking. This is a bad idea. Wait, why did he just stand there? Was he CC'd? No feel. Sorry, I don't have a grab. Ah, shit. 
It's funny because I just literally auto attacked that uh, Corsair and he died. Ah, he ulted. I wonder if that's safe to grab at that point, though. I just kicked him at us. Because I would imagine that um, if it fails, I might actually get CC'd if I grab at that stage. Okay. Ninja got himself in, of course, our CC, so that's always helpful. Your day got sad, what happened? I'm sorry to hear that, man. Wait, what? How did they get on the That ground? really sucks. Well, Corsair didn't die, unfortunately. Damn. Yeah, fuck cancer. Sorry to hear that, man. You're grabbed. We're all grabbed. Ice cream, your scream, we all scream for ice cream. Yeah, that's probably that's a good way to think about it, I suppose. What should I have done differently there? I'm not really sure how to peel on Sorp. Unless I'm like just supposed to use pure damage. Which I guess I can always do here. Uh, well, it's kind of hard to really peel on these um, flank classes, oh, I, I feel like. Oh, I should use blades. I should use blades. You could, but... How long does it take to cast and uh, send it out, though? Oh, well, I need to peel. Thank you. Do you need to have one, like, already out? Or can you, like, immediately cast one and send it out? It's like marginally slow. It's like by a hair slow. See, the thing with peeling is that the classes are gonna peel in. They can like play really defensively and then go for a protected CC. Like that, that's peel material. Like lawn. No, they can play defensively. And then, like, do the AoE CC that's protected, or they can go for a grab. Um, and then, like, Striker Mystic, they have, like, Mass Destruction that's protected. But it's just, it's just stuff like that, you know? Like, if you can, like, cast the CC without putting yourself in danger. Uh, that's, that's the thing, like I the best can't. Way to with, with blades. Then you found out the best way to peel. But, uh, but, but that's, I need to peel, right? But that's, that's like, that's the rule of thumb, I feel like. It's the best way to peel in this game. Yeah. Like, see, I can't peel because my grab's not protected there. So I just died.
Oh yeah, I thought he was CC. What the fuck? What the fuck? I thought he was CC. Fuck. Damn, I'm gonna leave the ninja there. Capitalize. Oh no, he got out. Do you have the ninja? Uh-huh. Like we do? Okay. That's just weird. I have no block left. Neo can't feel like you. I mean, Corsair is an okay Peel class, I guess. It's kind of designed to play support, but ultimately... It is a bit slow. You can't like instant peel someone on the verge of dying, like Long can, so... Because Long's just uses like 50 protected CCs at once. This guy's complaining about being CC'd in super armor. That was a good peel, but now I'm gonna die. Now you're fine. Crap the kill there. Let's let me tell the ninja. Hey, at least you don't get CC and iframe. Sorry to be a Debbie Downer. It's okay, it happens, man. It's life. Just uh, hope everything goes well. Wow, I got bombs. I'll be right back. I'm in B. I think I, I, think, I'm I think I got both of them. No, the ninja's behind you. Well, the ninja, I don't know. He's just memeing, I feel like. I don't know if he's actually fighting it. Because he's just like, you know, constantly complaining every time he dies. Okay, I, w I was out of the CC, and I was still gonna CC the knife frame. I'm gonna die. Or not. Because lol... No, I died. See, it's, it's nice... Wait. What? I blocked. What the hell? I blocked that. Did my seesaw not go off? I need to learn how to peel more effectively. You wish I would show in-game chat rather than Twitch chat? Uh, it's a bit too risky. There are certain things you can't show on Twitch, even if other people say it. Like it's actually like it's against TOS. Yeah, like, even if other people say it, you still aren't allowed to show it on Twitch. So, it's better it's better safe than sorry. Did we just get the AO here? No, nah, they all got out somehow. No. Were they all CC capped? No, I killed them. No, wait, what? Now they're, they, now, now they're dead, but they got out earlier. Hmm. Oh, I just want to capitalize on the position. Because I just caution right on top of them. Oh, wow. Guess I thought here. Nope. Uh, I'm I'm I think the lawn... Veep? What? You're alone. 
Oh, wow. I, I, I this thing. The lawn is actually a ninja. Holy fuck. Good player. I got a hit. He, uh, he died bombed me. You had time sword to purify proc, but it didn't purify you. Um, depending on which server you played on Perfect World, one of the server they literally made it so that it doesn't always purify you. So that's actually blame the devs in that situation, not the ping. I think it might be. It was. It was actually void. Oh shit! Wait, what did they make it do instead of purify you? They they made it it's so that it just just doesn't purify you all the time. For whatever reason. Decrease the rate or like RNG doesn't purify? Just RNG doesn't purify. Like you get the anti stun but it doesn't purify. It was like a nerf to purify on Void, I, I remember. So it made it very unreliable in other words. Yeah, well, it was kind of a weird nerf. Because it was broken? Well, you could have just, uh, they could have always just, you know. Not had it, but you know. Okay, that was a bad play on my part. I tried to like, like I shouldn't have engaged him when he was just playing passive like that. So he, so he just grabbed me. I need to bait out his dash first. Well, the reason Purify on Perfect World was annoying was the same reason that these things get annoying on BDO. Because, like, it happens only when it's too late to really do anything about it. So you don't really get agency. Are you getting close to the story? Nice. Congrats, yo. It's like way too dark right now. I'm gonna turn off the light. There we go. That's a little bit better. Can't waste uh, to have this screen brightness. Like what? I was blocking that. I swear I was blocking that. Ah, oh, shit, I'm gonna get grabbed. I have this bad habit where I like. Do two iframes before a skill, which means that I can't cancel out of it, instead of using one iframe and then keeping the other one in reserved. Corsair leave? Yeah, I think so. Or they're standing on top of the hill. No, this is just someone else. I 
I mean, I don't think RNG CC and RNG CC break are really good mechanics to begin with, but that's a whole separate issue. You gotta hide behind this tree. Just uh, let them fight you, I guess. Enjoy. I don't know, I think they're done. They're done? Unfortunate. That's what it looks like. The Corsair's gone. No, he's not coming. Wait, did they team together? Damn protected CCs. I'm like not used to getting behind people and like using a CC and getting CC'd anyways. You know? What do you mean by that? But like a lot of CCs are kind of 360. Ah. Uh. And I like get behind them. Well, if a class is slow, giving RNG CC break isn't the solution. Wait, I thought you were dealing with the ninja. What the fuck? The ninja is dealing with me. I guess I miscalculated. No, you miscalculated. You should have feared him more than you loved Zuko. Yes, I should have uh, feared your face more. Bro. Who's that? Wait, are there two Corsairs? No, that's that was the same Corsair as before. Oh, Waifu? There's like a Waifu and then there's a... I swear to god. Oh shit. They came back. Indeed they did. with Malice? Uh, I actually killed him with something. Either Malice or Shadow Stomp. I think it was both. You just did Malice into Shadow Stomp. It's possible. What? He grabbed me in concealment. Um, uh, well, when it comes to Perfect World, Game design. Perfect World was ultimately designed for like massive PvP, like territory war. Yes. So. Wait, what? Ah, uh, got stiffed by murderous intent. Unfortunate. Like, if you're talking about the private server. Versus the actual server, like it's not. It's like a huge difference in why why things are done in certain ways. So if a private server decides to do things the same way they do it on the public server, then they're gonna have problems, of course. Because they don't have nearly the number of players. Wow, okay, or, the same, or the same gear. I'm like having trouble sending the blades. 
Because for some reason they just keep detonating themselves, which is usually indicative of not aiming them properly. One to peel. Yeah. I, I don't think I think EP is actually more balanced on the uh, perfect world of retail than uh, than private though. At least before I quit Perfect World. Because uh, back then, oh um, you, they didn't really have, like, defense gear. So you could actually kill them. Like, through Whereas, Purify uh, Spell. A lot of the times. Whereas uh, now, with all the defense gear, it's more like they're just Purify bots. And so, like, it's, it's not like... It's like a... They're an RNG... Purify spell for their team. Neither, neither Mafia nor Inception was retail though. I think we, I think I uh, explained last time when I'm, I'm talking about like international, not like rank nine. Because really, every private server. Or uses really their own custom gear, so they're never going to get the true retail experience on the on any of the private servers. Oh, what the hell! Well, I guess uh, they killed me first. Before I Wait. Well, what's up? Did I not? Did I not go step? Maybe that. Not. Maybe that's what happened. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see the knife ring. When I say retail, I'm talking about Perfect World International. So, so every everything I said so far, when I, when you hear retail, replace it with Perfect World International, since that's what I meant. Then, then there you go. I'm just not keeping track of respawns well enough. What do you mean? Perfect World International? What do you mean? There's a ser literally a server called Perfect World International. I don't know what you mean by that. Well, if you never played the Purple International server, then sure, you might not get it. But I am talking about literally the official server. Like the official server, Dreamweaver, Lost City, etc. Well, if you don't see a difference, that's fine, but it's not the same gear, so... If it's not the same gear, it's not going to be the same experience. Just not keeping track of who's alive and who's dead. Well, gears are different. Uh, if you give me like. A screenshot of the gear on uh, Mafia, and, and I can like give you a gear of the screenshot on Perfect World, and then like you know we can compare like that. Yeah. 
it's not a no true Scotsman argument because I'm saying like mathematically it's different. Like one is objectively different to two to two. Like that's not a fallacy. Like I'm saying, if your gear has plus one, it's different to plus to plus two. Like that's objective. There's no fallacy there. I'm saying like the numbers, the physical attack, the defense, the attack level, defense level, all of that is objectively different between the official perfect world and your private server, like Mafia and uh, Inception. The two that you played on. There were edits on the inception. Like, I, obviously, I don't remember all the classes, but Sin is a primary example. Like, Sin lost the 30 attack levels. That's the major one on inception. And obviously, I'm not gonna, not gonna remember every class, but like, like that's just one example. If you like have screenshots of other ones, then of course we can uh, take a look later. Get CC if I try to iframe through that. You know the lawn spin skill? Can you like not iframe through that skill? You should be able to. Yeah, like that's what I don't get, because I literally iframe through it, but then I got CC'd anyways. You like I literally blocked the first two hits. I tried to iframe through it and then I got CC'd at the end. That's what does that's what didn't make sense to me. That's a wipe. That's a wrap. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to the original perfect world, technically anyone can make a server at this point, but I don't think anyone really plays that game anymore. Even, like, there are so many servers of uh, the original Perfect World. But it's really a population thing. Well, no one in North America, at least, is what I meant. What the fuck? I'm in V. Try to grab? Nope.
So maybe, uh, maybe it's a way to a perfect world too, you know? Supposedly that's coming out. You seen an ad for what? Perfect World 2? A oh, Perfect World Mobile. Or you mean just a generic MMO? Oh shit. Yeah, oh, nice spiel. Do we kill here? No, we don't kill him. And I have no mana. I need to like, I need to kill them fast so I can get my camp out, but... I don't think you have that option. Ooh. You can play with one hand. Here's the chance. Oh, are you talking about that uh, jump scare cutscene? Oh, okay. Remember, they had like that one cutscene where the sound suddenly goes super loud. It's literally a jump scare. It's pretty cringe, man. Or, or maybe you have your sound uh, set to lower some. Hopefully you do. I get CC there. How did I get CC there? Oh, I didn't CC him. I mean, you said it's a mobile game with one hand, but that doesn't mean it's perfect world. It's a game released by the company. Wait, have, you been have you been talking to Anthony this whole time? No. Wait, who, who, who is it? Dante? Yeah, Dante asked you if uh, you wanted to play Coomer Perfect World with him, but... I was saying, like, just because it's a game released by Perfect World, the company, doesn't mean it's Perfect World, the game. Okay, I swear to god there are multiple Corsairs. Never mind. So if you're desperate for perfect growth, don't be like playing mobile games, you know? I'm sure there are better options than playing mobile games. Although, you no, know, Perfect World Entertainment with their pay to win practices, they're really good for a mobile game company. Actually, now that you think about it. With mobile Probably. games, they can add all the pay to win they need or, they, or want.
Oh, that's not the actual name. Well, I should have been there. Pretty sure Dante is just uh, meme naming it. I guess I heal here. I guess you heal there. Wait, what the hell? I desynced. Well, it kind of depends. It's like, it's hard to say at what point, like where it draws the line between what the publisher has control over and what the um, developers control. Because if you take BDO, for example, when they first released, there wasn't like any pay to win really. But then slowly they added more and more over time. So they obviously had the choice to not add pay to win. But then, why did they add it later? Was it because they were forced to by the developer, or did they just want to get in on the money? It's, you know, it's hard to say. Like maybe uh, Cacao Games, they were afraid that the contract was going to end if they did not pay to win. But then they, their, their contract ended regardless. Whereas for Perfect World Entertainment, apparently, um, there was a point where the developers had to actually tell the publisher to like remove an item from the cash shop that they didn't want to be in the cash shop. So... Maybe the publisher actually has control over like what they decide to make pay to win. But then the developers get the final say. I don't know how like all those contracts really work. Three HP. Nice margin. He says good fights. I guess he's leaving. That's unfortunate. Guess uh, you can duel the ninja. But does he want to duel me though? That I don't know about. I mean, having seen your face, I'm amazed that he hasn't just straight up logged off. You must be very courageous. Anthony said uh, you didn't die today. No? But my KD is like 7 to 1, which is kind of nice. Human damage is uh, good damage, I say. Oh, he's using Bone Serpent. Let's see if I need my pre-orders filled. Yep. Oh wait! I got a kill the crystal! Yes! You're actually watching trailer of a mobile game? I mean... Don't hate the player, hate the game. Are you typing that out then? Yep. Jesus Christ, man. Yep. Yep. He hates the servers. <laughs> they were actually good. I mean, everything would be different if the servers were actually good. The server's not in California, though. It's in San Jose, isn't it? San Jose is in California, isn't Wait. it? Really? Okay, then. Never mind. See, I, I don't live in the U.S. Idiots! I don't know these things. Idiots. 
All right. Maybe now that we PK oh, here for a while, there might be PvP at other locations. We could go yes. check. Possibly. So we already know Adaraxiang is uh, dead content, I guess. Yes, I will go back to Polly's. Wait, who is this guy in the ghillie suit? Wait, who's this guy? Oh. Just uh. Congrats on the drops. My horse died. Oh, it's a hash. My horse just died. Should we, wait, should we wait for to see what happens with the hash? I mean, I guess you can, but my horse died, so I gotta run back to get my horse. Which means I will wait. be uh, AFK. Wait, what the fuck? Is he on a Doom Horse? Wait, what? How is he on the Doom Horse? Wait, what? Secret? Pretty sure you're not allowed to be on the Doom Horse on Season. Wait, he's asked that this is seasonal? What? He, wait, he didn't even realize this was seasonal server? <laughs> what the fuck? You're not meant to, but you can? Also, is this guy actually trolling? How can he not realize he's on the on the seasonal character on the seasonal server when he's flagged? But this guy is trolling. This guy is flagged on what he thinks is Valencia 2. Hmm. Oh, the music stopped again. Let me restart that. Didn't have this problem earlier. Not sure why uh, we're getting this all of a sudden. Let him link his gear. I can't ask, but. Who are you asking? I'm back, by the way. What's up? Full pen dead god? Okay, bro. Wait, how is he on a seasonal server? Oh, he, it's not... <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Snow, Snow Day's gaming said it's a secret. I mean, I did hear um, there was some complaints of uh, being able to, like, Transfer a character from the uh, main server to the seasonal server. I don't know if this has anything to do with it, though. Just, uh, just flare him and ban him. Well, I, I'm not a GM. It's not my job to ban people. I mean, you can always message uh, Armin. Ex guild mate. Gotta do that, you know. Well, if he's interested, he can always check the wad. So. It's not really, uh, it's not really what I'm here for. Let's see. I have 10, 24, 34, 39, 39 human damage. 
4 AP from Corrupted, and uh, 36 accuracy. Pretty good. No bans, it's a glitch. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, it's not my job to ban people. I mean, if a GM is watching the stream, that's, uh, that's just, uh, that's just unfortunate. I'm not, I'm not banning anyone though. I'm not the GM. What, what kind of meme is this? Is this claim 3% of my soul? Is this click the horse enough going through UI? So wait, can you, does it actually do like uh, full damage? Or what? Wait, does what? Like the horse? I like, can't. Does it actually like stun and kill people? I think so. It's it not actually, like they would have installed. Yeah, a, it actually works. I don't think they would have installed a limiter because the doom horse was not bent to here in the first place. Oh then. That could I, that could get annoying real fast if people abuse it. Well, let's just hope that never happens. So, did you uh, did you go, did you leave or what happened? You said you were going to Poly Forest. Well. He killed my horse, so I gotta run all the way back to bear. Yeah. It looks like we're gonna have to find a new PvP spot, though. Uh, this hash arrived just as soon as the PvP ended. Are you winning, son? Yeah, I mean, he can always kill this Corsair, but I think that's the Corsair we were just fighting for like the past hour. Yeah, I think uh, it's good to save, you know, 5 mil. Yeah. Save money, save the environment. <clears throat> With a whole 5 mil, save 5 mil, save money, and even save the environment. Oh, okay. 1 800 Nerf Meyer today. Obscure reference. But yes. Very obscure reference. I don't anyone in the chat guess it except for maybe Anthony. Very obscure. Yes. Uh, yes okay, so I guess I'll go back to town, drop off some stuff, and then check some other PvP spots. I guess I'll go back to Hellfield. I'm gonna go make some more food. I'll be back later. All right. All right. So, wait, clean my inventory? I'm lazy? What? My inventory is pretty clean. See, I have my squirrels in one place, and my boxes in one place. I have my rifts in one place. Fragments here. It's not very well organized if you think about it. It's not my fault I get drops. Turn in the keys? I don't even know what those are for. Welcome back, Art of War. The only thing that uh, isn't really meant to be here is the Firehorn. Like this I got from drops, this was from drops, 
This was from drops. Drops. That was from a quest. You just told me what they're for? But what, what do you mean? It says you can open the slippery scala with treasure chest by the villian shore. Where the hell is that? Do I have to go to Valia? Because when I click on it, it doesn't take me somewhere. Alright, I'll go to Valia. But that's kind of the opposite direction of where I want to go, though. Uh, would I do you a favor? Or what, what's the favor? Oh, all right. You know what? I'll go to Vega later. I don't think there's uh, any PvP in this direction. I mean, what else do I need to clear out? I have the Traveler stuff, I can put them together. This I will put into Vega later. This I put into Vega later. Same with this. I get okay, so this I don't need. I don't know if I need this. Okay, I guess I don't need this. I'll put this here, you know. Alright, there you go. It's all it's all clean. What else do I need? I don't need this because I'm not doing other accent anymore. But yeah, everything else is uh well, was in reason, I would say. We turn on my Discord voice chat. All right. But uh, anyone else? Wants to join Discord, you can type exclamation mark Discord for the link, invite link. Try, I'll, I'll even take the uh, quest right now. Yep. I don't need Firefly. I guess in theory you could turn up the Gamma. Then you have to turn it back down when the day gets brighter. Where are you looking for PvP? So I never do that. Sure, I'll, I'll just throw it away. Where am I looking for PvP? Um, I guess we do a sweep back to Poly Forest. Uh huh. Yeah, I'll move the squirrel here. It's all very organized. So I think we go back to Poly Forest, take a look. Uh, if there's no one there, probably turn around and go for probably Blood Wolves or Shurikon again. And if no one's there, then probably RBF. I think those are the two likely places. I mean, I know we have Mansham, we have Miramok, we have Ronaros, but no one has ever really been there the past few times we check, unless it's going to be different this time. But usually it gets less and less likely further into the night for those places to have people, I feel like.
But if Chad wants to suggest any place, we can always go look there as well. But like right now I'm just feeling like Poly Forest and Blood Bowls are probably the likely place where I'll find people. What are your crystals right now? Uh and type exclamation mark here on the chat. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> As I have to keep uh, thinking, keep trying to remember what I put in there. Special evasion, critical hit, and offhand precisions. I like Viper. to just set it and forget it, you know. And RBF precisions. I'm, I'm the type of person who likes to keep things automated as much as possible. Set it and forget it. But there was one thing that I was uh, looking at, was whether it's worth it to replace the critical percent on the offhand with human damage. Just to counter special attack evasion. But I'm not too sure though. It's hard to really find any information on uh, how much damage the critical hit is really worth compared to human damage and AP. Fuck. Okay. I didn't drown this time. I was able to recover. I thought you had caution. See, I actually do have caution. And it's not even locked. That's how bad this skill is most of the time. Like, so far, in the entire- my entire video career, Caution saved me like, what, once? Twice? Wait, where the hell is my horse? I don't know, you ate it? Scared it off with what? your face? I remember this guy. I'm pretty sure this guy is like full pen. Mm -hmm. This Corsair. Yeah. He was probably one of the RNG carry person who got full pin for everything else. My YouTube channel is all luck, no skills. Or you can uh, get the channel link if you type uh, exclamation mark YouTube. Or was it montage? Something like that. It was one of those commands. I think both commands work actually. I guess you have perished. You have, uh, fallen as a mere mortal. Your name shall live on in glory. Bruh. I look away for one second, and I get stepped through iframe. Brilliant. Wait, what? what? 
How did he even CC me there? That doesn't seem legit at all. I know they have a uh, stiff, but I was supposed to be an iframe, pretty sure. Unless it's like a multi-hit projectile. Are you fighting him? Yeah, I'm fighting him. Okay. I'm actually not sure how to kill him. Because it looks like they can just indefinitely chain right now. See the only person here. Let me check the other rotations. Not seeing anyone on the minimap right now. No one's here. No one's here at all. Okay. Maybe the node? I see a horse here. Actually, I do see someone on the minimap. There he is. He calls me a cheater. He's a friend, though, I think. Can I just not attack people today? Why did he call you a cheater? Uh, it's a joke. What the fuck? I literally just cannot attack this. Well, you do cheat a lot. Wait, how come I can't? Oh, oh it's because I wasn't activated PvP mode. There we go. Brilliant. I was wondering why I couldn't hit him. What the fuck? You were fighting him without PvP mode on. Look at that cheat. Able to attack people without flagging. This male was ready for me earlier. I think he's uh looking to fight maybe. As well as I don't know why he was standing there. Shot. Guess you're cheating on BDO more than Chase cheating on Roblox. Did Chase cheat on Roblox? It's kind of funny. Yeah, imagine cheating on Roblox. Yes, oh, imagine cheating. Uh, there's a combat buff, a courtesy buff from Barisaline. Of the Beluga Club. I'd say thanks for the bell, but I don't even have server chat enabled. Damn! Someone on server chat just said, "If you would like to, if you would like to slay the Bashim for greater glory, DM me, and we shall make five thousand of their heads roll." Pretty impressive. Wait, someone is doing Bashims for the uh, five thousand quests? Isn't that one of the worst possible choice? I feel like I feel like so. Because they're so spread out. You do 5,000 of them. Yep. 
Oh, he's succession. Actually, I don't know what he just tried to do there. You know, in this direction. I'm out of stamina. I see someone on the minimap. Just beat, I guess. By the way, did they buff Corsair again in the latest patch or no? I sure. saw I saw a bunch of Corsair changes, but I'm not sure if they were they were buffs or not. I believe the guild first slide is all still around. I feel like this guy's not really geared. And he also instant respawn. See, it would be nice if we can uh you know just go to node. Group people, so you, we can all group together, and then fight. The Corsair says animation way too slow. R.I.P. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else at Polys. Do you want to go R.B.F.? Uh, I also said Blood Wolves. You really think there'll be anyone at Blood Wolves? Yeah, I actually do. Alright, I'll keep on uh, 1v1 in this Corsair, I guess. Also, if anyone else has suggestions, to speak up before we decide to go RBF. You can punish the landing there. I also forgot to take the weekly 5000. You just reminded me earlier. I'll probably have to come back to do this another day. Guess I'm not about to grind 5000 mob if the one's speaking. I only grind by proxy. What? Okay, that horse is parked. Earlier there was a horse that wasn't parked and I was able to kill it. Are you still finding that Corsair? Uh, no, I'm in the middle of a 1v1v1. Oh, you're, all, you're only over there, actually. Captain Shaq Sparrow. What? Okay, then. I guess they don't call him Captain Shaq Sparrow for nothing. That's succession over? Or is he just staying and awaken and pre-awaken? Can't tell. Wait, are they a team or how did he grab me through him? I'm guessing they're a team then. Yeah, they have to be a team.
Okay, I think he's probably succession by the looks of it. Ah. Not uh, not enough damage fast enough. So what does succession then what do? Do they just play super passive? And just block all day? Until their pet kills you, yeah. I guess I go for aggressive grabs then? Uh, I wasn't able to go into... I wasn't able to go into Katana fast enough. I should have probably just played Spin there instead. But I thought I was blocking the right direction to Katana. Although, like if I don't engage the Nova, what, what can he do other than grab? Whereas, whereas grab is like the main thing. That's why I don't I don't really still understand this class too much yet. Are Nova pets invincible? Like Tamer pet? Okay, he beasts. Okay, unfortunate. I had to grab him. Try to go for me. Yeah, I ran out of pots like this guy. Like against this comp, what if I just focus the Corsair first? Like what's what's the worst that could happen? Wait, he can grab me like that? Okay. Where did he go? Looking on the mini map, I don't see anyone. I see mobs dead here. No dots on the mini map though. Oh wait, I see. Wait, what? What was that? That was obviously a sage attack. But where's the sage? I think he's down here. I see him.
I guess let's just walk slowly. Rather than waste energy catching up to him. Where's the Nova? Hmm. Server swapped? Let me check back at spawn. No, it's just the stage. I think he wants to come for me, okay. It's not him. Who is that? Oh, that's the Corsair. I've just Wait, been what? standing iframe in front of him. Wait, what, like what are you going on? Are you are you fighting him still? No. No, I, I finished. Okay, that's lightning prison. No, that's CC. I gotta count lightning prison for sages, because that's pretty much the that and grab are pretty much the only skills that work for me, to be honest. Nothing else is fast enough. It's just so fucking annoying to chase them down. Bro, I think the Sage and Corsair is the server swap. That's... damn. That's very disappointing. Imagine having to actually grind rather than just PvP. I mean, that's seasonal. I had to grind my fair share. You got RNG carried. No, I PvP'd all the, all the way. It was the full. This was the full Archer playthrough. Never left Archer for anything except like AFK auto pathing for doing quests that involves talking to NPC, and that was it. That's why I say it was the full Archer playthrough. Okay. There, there's no way. He's CCing me like in iframe three times in a row now. Nice. There's no way. There is actually no way. Of course, here I can kind of just like iframe instantly against, and they can't kill me either. Pretty funny. Because they're so slow that I can just, like, dash around and then iframe in their face like 30 times and then dash around to recover stamina. Like, they're so slow that I can just dash and recover stamina. As a sword, would you rather fight a Corsair or a Guardian? What do you think? Um, I would probably rather fight the Corsair just because with Guardian, they have a grab. Whereas with Guardian, or whereas with Corsair, I can just kind of rotate indefinitely. So like, I can do what I just did there, which is literally just spam iframes until I get bored. Or rotate super armors until they die to one of my protected CCs. Okay, my iframes are actually just not working today. But like, as a Sork, you don't really have an excuse for dying to any non-super armor class, or like, to a non-grab class. So even though Guardians are slow, they can still get you. Yeah. Like, cause, cause, uh, if you fuck up against a guardian, you just get grabbed and then you die. Whereas, like, you can't really fuck up against a non-grab class since Sork is basically a, a super armor class now. It can just rotate super armors indefinitely. That's fair. I'm killing this guy. Go oh. steal. I get 
guess uh, the return of the mermaid, as Van would say. The mermaid has returned. We're just gonna send Blaze Wait, in. Wait, who says who says return of the return of the mermaid? I, I feel like that's something Van would say. The mermaid has returned. You know, I feel like that's one of his lines. He just made it up for him. Yeah, I feel like that's nice. something he would say. You know? I'm just gonna spam blades at this guy. Or not. I guess you kill him already. I think he desync. Yeah, he desync, that's for sure. I'm just gonna keep down. Yeah. Oh. oh, the sage is back. Sage is back. Honestly, it's just a bit annoying that he decided to kill me as soon as I walk out of the spawn. Wait, who did? But... Sage? We just, uh, we just stay here. And fight him, I guess. Since he clearly wants to fight. Hey, thanks for following Dominate. We're just gonna throw balls until someone gets grabbed. Let's throw range CCs. Just throw a range CC. Nope. Guess I'm on the ground. This is bad. He didn't get second CC for some reason. I don't know why he didn't get second, second CC though. Just resist. You aren't using a uh, penetrate float or anything, so. I mean, resist is an easy argument to make. But it's That's not always true. it's not always resist. That is very true. I'm under for today's calories, but I'm have enough protein, so that's enough for me, I guess. Oh yeah, I could have just grabbed him. I really would like to know no coarser gaps. I'm dumb. I, I I should have just grabbed him. I don't know why I did that. What did you do? Oh wait, there's a lot of people here now. I'm about to get grabbed. Too slow. Okay, where does wait that doesn't make sense. 
that skill's animation doesn't match with its uh, hitbox. Yeah. So where does it actually yeah. hit then? Wait, but where does it actually hit then? I don't get it. Like, where are you actually supposed to block against that skill then? Which one? The Corsair one. This one? Ah, shit. You mean like the one where they jump into the air? Yeah, like, like where, where, where does it actually hit then? Where are you actually supposed to block? Okay. Did you block towards their landing? Yeah. Hmm. That's weird. Because I always thought of it as like... The Wu Tang one, where they jump into the air. I tried to kill you, but I tried to peel him from you, but I couldn't. It's okay. Because I can't even peel this class. Like, if they want to just kill someone, there's nothing wrong with it. I think they just got knocked back. Oh like my god. Like, I don't think Ninja can really peel. Wait, how come I didn't see him earlier? Did he come from a different spawn point? Uh, I guess Corsair just steals damage by moving. Are we fighting at spawn now? I thought the Sage was still alive, actually. Which is why I moved there. Okay. Is the stage just like hiding away repeatedly? No, the stage tried to follow me. He's coming back though. I guess you already have killed him. I have no pots. Because every time I look, the sage is just gone. I'm just gonna assume he's actually here then. Because it's like he keeps leaving the battle for some reason. But I guess that's just how he's playing. Not in range to grab there for some reason. Ah, shit. No pots. Okay, he peels me from the sage for some reason.
Should have stunned that the first time. So, these two are in different guilds, right? Yeah, yeah once in first light, once in shockwave. Yeah. See, the stage is gone again. Did he leave? No, he's back. He's just delaying his respawn. I guess that's that's the strat. He's uh, trying to remain unnoticed. Speaking of which, where is he? He's just delaying. He's just delaying his respawn. Rather than respawning immediately. He grabbed me, of all things. Anymore? I mean, you could still grab, but they can cancel out of most of their uh, their attacks now. Does their iframe have a cooldown? Like, like I can grab there, but they just got much more cancels now. So is it like trying to grab Katana Tower now, I suppose? Yeah. That's not terrible. Ah, they used Hot Horse Spear. God damn it. Well, it's not terrible, but it does a bit, it does more damage than Katana Shower though. At least it doesn't float. It does float. One, one of it floats, one of it does damage. Depends on which one you're grabbing. So you probably don't want to grab the float one, but... You should only really grab the damage one if you're like at high HP. Damn, I just went for like 3 CCs on their back. And it didn't work. It's like kind of surprising, actually. The Sage is leaving? I guess so. That's unfortunate. He needs to die so he can rest down. Alright, we'll, we'll kill him. Indeed. Thanks for following a too filthy PK. Wait, how did Bro. I die there? <laughs> what? I wasn't looking. How did I die? What the fuck? I don't think I got CC. So I'm not sure. You know, I feel like Corsair isn't the anti shield class. I feel like it's more like the anti CC class. You know? You see what I'm trying to say? No, Sork is the anti-CC class, I would say. What? Yeah. Yeah, Sork has way more iframe. No, no, it's not about iframe. I feel like the the way you kill Sork, you can forcibly kill a Sork, I think, with speed. But like, no matter, with like a speed, like a ninja, or not Sork, for example. Can you? I don't know. Like, if you just play super passive and don't go for attacks, can you really die? A Sork? Yeah. I mean... Here's the thing, I don't think the Corsair can either. Cause like... I think I think the way to kill a Corsair is just pure damage. 
get out. Well, I mean, there's opportunities where you can grab the Corsair if you have a grab. But, like, if you play super defensive on the Sorg, then I think you can't even be grabbed now, can you? That's true. Whereas Corsair, at least in their rotation, there are a few times where, they're, where they have to let you grab them. Yeah, I'm using Bone Katana Shower. I find it to be, like, kind of better in these, like, small-scale RPK, world, world RPK situations. Oh, rip. Which is mostly what I, the type of content I've been doing. Tree, I guess. Yeah, see, like, like he had to use that there. It's part of his rotation. Although I don't know why he got a bird. I think he desynced. He probably desynced when he tried to cancel it. Oh, you're on console. I don't know if it's any different on console. But you can always test it out, see if you like it or not, and swap if you don't like it. I just feel like with Bone Serpent, since it's only um, Frontal Guard, like, at least for me, like the situations where I would use Bone Serpent, it's also kind of the same in the... Like, it would also be safe for me to just use regular Serpent most of the time, but it could just be due to the way I play. I feel like it's a very playstyle dependent, which Bone you choose. Because for me, I already pretty much only use Serpent with, when I'm in a safe position. So when I use a Bone Serpent, it doesn't really add any more safety for me. But that's just me. Okay, so it's just that one Corsair. I want to find more people. No offense, but... We need more people to have a party. Yeah, I don't think there's like a wrong answer for which bong you choose. So if you like Kanana Shower better, then you should do the swap. It, I think it's ultimately depends on whatever fits your playstyle. Murderous intent for large scale. See, I haven't really been doing large scale too much these days, so I can't really say for sure. What would you do? Why would you use MI but, in large scale, though? Yeah, like, Murderous feels more like a 1v1 situation to me, but I don't know. I haven't really been doing much large scale these days, so maybe... It's like with MI, the thing is, is, it's only a stiff. You can't really kill off of MI. If you want to, you have to, like, 
do some other sort of CC afterward, which is going to be unprotected anyways, you know? Well, like, the only Unless... the only reason I can think of is maybe you use it for protected movement. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's just for the movement? Still... Yeah, that's what I was thinking of as well. But I think Mazep uses it for that reason. Because he gets, he can, like, weave a bit more in RBF. Um, uh -huh. But yeah, I never, I never really been in a siege guild even, so I can't uh, really s say a hundred percent how it would be like. Two hundred APM Ninja versus twenty APM Corsair. Yeah, right, well, some classes they just designed it to be like that, I guess. Uh, anti cannon and deflex. Okay. I don't know if you have like the um the book on the not the book. What's it? It is the book. Yeah, on on console. But a lot of people run this. So they can just switch freely. Switch to one for say uh, for siege and switch to another for something else. Oh shit, my mount's too far away. We had the Sage and the other Corsair, but I don't know why they didn't want to stay. I think they're just here to grind. So, we might have to check another place for PK. And that place is Blood Wolves, like I was saying. So that's probably going to be the last place we check. Unless we can find PK elsewhere. Okay, so you killed that guy. <laughs> you ain't in the complete Stone Age. Not, I'm not implying anything. It's just, uh, I just don't know how it's like there in console, you know? Is this side here? Oh, he is here. See? If he's here, I can kill him. But wait, I got stuck in the tree. Fuck. God damn it. You got capped at Capture's level 5. I don't know, depending on how you look at it, it could be for the best. But it's Capture's level 20, people can get... I don't know. The gear can get a bit too much. It's the, it's the best way I can put it. But I don't know if you guys have like huge cash shoppers on console. Where you go? Where do you uh, go? Uh, so yeah, Blood Wolves is next. Fucking Blood Wolves. Bruh. Yeah, unless chat has any other suggestions. Before we go. Get Kafra Stin in six months. R.I.P. Gonna have to go back to the grinding soon. I mean, you're gonna have to go back to the grinding soon too. Cause I uh, gotta grind on uh, solo. On Swords of Legends Online? Mm -hmm. See, you don't actually need to grind on Swords of Legends Online. You don't? Yeah. No, you just level to 37, then you just queue in for PK. Interesting. Because uh, my plan is pretty much just to do seasonal RBF, or and then trial one v one during the school year. 
I mean, if you want to play Swords of Legends online, all you need to do is uh, level to 37 in about uh, 12 hours of game time. I don't know. I don't really like isometric gameplay. It doesn't really appeal to me. How is Swords of Legends online isometric? Or are you talking about Lost Ark? Oh, Lost Ark, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you said uh, Sword of Legends online. It's, it's like interesting, but you said the PvP is not as good as BDO, right? Uh, yeah, that's what I think so. I but think like, the, the PvP is a bit, probably a bit stale. It's kind of like, uh, like perfect world, but with uh more, more damage trade rather than. It's like perfect world without charms, you know. Mm. So it's very, yeah. very whoever is just like dumps damage first kind of wins type of deal. Mm. But like the thing is, is unlike you, I find enjoyment in dueling. So there's no reason for me to like play another game, even if I can't find. Like uh, 1vx or rvf. Mhm. Mm so there's there's not really a reason for me to play anything else right now. Mhm. Mm well, I'm just saying, like, uh, it is up but to if, you. If but want, yes. yeah. If I if I so desire, deep. Since you asked. Since I asked. Well, here's another question I asked. Did you find anyone at our destination? Well, I'm not even there yet. How about you get your ass to Blood Wolves I, and check I, it? I'm on the measly tier 8, not on the Doom Horse like that other guy. Measly tier 8, ah, yes. Unfortunate. Not on your main, on a seasonal character. Server. T8 is so slow. T8 is so slow now that they gave out T8s for free. I mean, I do appreciate that. <laughs> so. T9 isn't enough anymore. We have T10 now. Damn. Although I haven't actually seen anyone with a T10 yet. What? I, what? I think uh, General Morris got T10. And then he quit. If I recall correctly. Oh, he's done? Finally? I think, I think he did, yeah. Damn. That's the first time I've heard of it. A moment in silence. A moment of silence for uh, our dear friend Morris. Pretty R.I.P. That is pretty R.I.P. Yes. But I'll sometimes it is also for the best. Because imagine playing Archer in this meta. So Blood Wolves will be the last place we look. RBF has... No one? No one's doing RBF actually. Huh. Maybe one just ended? Seems oh. unlikely. There's uh, 7 minutes left. So we might not even do RBF. We might just uh, end the stream if there's no one here. Cause that might be the PvP. That might be the uh, all the PvP we get for today. Actually, I do see one person here. Or was that two? I think I saw two. Let's take a quick look. Oh, there's two horses, so that does point to two being a possibility. But where are they? They went like deep, deep, deep down somewhere in here. The mystery. What do you think would be a good QLL purchase besides a uh, ferry and uh, marketplace mates for seasonal characters? Uh, 
Oh. They don't really need pets. Huh? Got both of them. <laughs> the third party. Um, I think probably the fail stack. Literally, uh, the, literally the fail stack. I, like, like that's probably it. The deer's bad. Well, I mean, yeah. it's not worth it. So. It really isn't. Except you have it. Because why not? Because uh, you make six figures. I don't. You do. But I don't. You are you are very wealthy. No, but, fact, I, but I actually don't, though. You make eight figures a year, dude. Don't. Don't. Don't argue. Oh, right. where can I put the tent? Uh, install. The placement location is invalid. It's because I already had pearls from before I quit. Body enhancement. I guess, uh, grind him with the mobs. Pretty unfortunate. Wait, what? He instant respawned. I never nice. see that coming. It is simply your destiny to uh, always die to the instant respawn. See, I told you there would be people here. But how many are there? Always... Too many, but always too few. Too many because it's not technically a fair fight. But too few because if you come, it's also not a fair fight. Ah, the uh, the Goldilocks zone. Oh, actually, not the Goldilocks zone. Probably the, the, the bad the zone. It's like the opposite of a Goldilocks zone. Yes. The uh, the Red Riding Hood zone. <laughs> the big bad wolf zone. Yeah. Oh, this guy's building a tent. See, if I see them build a tent, then I won't attack them. But if I don't see them do it, I can't possibly know they have a tent up. Is this man wearing a ghillie? Alright. They gonna attack? Or do I attack them? Yes, I'm attacking them. Yes, the striker's in a ghillie suit, and also has a loose girl. Who could this be? Who could it be? This animal that I can see. His name is Grabio Girl. And I, uh, I got him with the V right behind him, into a stiff. <laughs> I, I forget where that sounds from. Grabio Girl? No, no. The one I was referencing. Hmm. Nice! You just ran into it. <laughs> nice! Did you even mean to CC him? <laughs> no, that that was the plan, but I didn't expect it to just be like that. <laughs> Ah, I didn't uh, expect it to be like stand still and it just works immediately. <laughs> I thought he would do something. But see, that's the thing with Ninja. Like, like I was telling Wally the other day, every skill is an engage.
And that's kind of sad because the Guardian left. I saw him get on his or her, uh, her horse and run away. And so did the Sage, I think, because after he died, I don't know where he went. This place again, this is called Blood Wolves. People come here to grind what is known as the Infinite Potion. Where you have a potion that never... Well, that's infinite, as the name implies. He's not a loose roll. I guess I shouldn't kill him. Oh, here's here they are. Hey, what? Is he also building a tent? What the fuck? Why is everyone building a tent? Yeah. How come every time I look at someone, they're building a tent? It's because they're trying to hide from your face, so they put up the canvas. I should not have said that. No, you I shouldn't have. I should not have said that. <laughs> uh, you pathetic excuse for an Eldritch Horror. It's called Infinite Potion because we're only grinding it for infinity. <laughs> nice. I mean, that's true, so... <laughs> Unless you're RNG carried, like Neo. What do you mean RNG carried like Neo? Because, yeah, uh... You know, you can get two map pieces in one hour when you were trying, uh, not I, even I, trying to grind for them. I did get both uh, Sulfur Mine map pieces in uh, 10 hours. But you got them both on the same hour. Oh, it is... Uh, he just he just does beheading in place, I guess. I'm just going to iframe around. Look at this. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think he's a bit new to this. Or he's just Mimi, I don't really know. It's hard to tell. I think he's new. Oh my god, he's gonna keep grinding. You want to come fight you, but you're busy cooking? Damn. Maybe next time. You can always uh, stay followed to the stream and get notified next time I come online to PvP. Do you, uh, do you like my new macro, Wayne? Observe. Your eye framing. Yes. Although it needs to be more creative. He just went for the grab, I guess. I guess we just only have the striker and and the ninja now. The uh, guardian sage. We also had like another person. Who I forget. They all they all left. Just like instantly, it's very sad. Did he just ulti? Yeah, he, he ulted. Ulti. We have literally no one in RBF. What? Man. Just kill him. I wish to uh, make a different macro. Is there anywhere else? That you can think of. And anyone can think of where people might be. Because I feel like All right. these are I the best places. I improved the macro. I feel like we check the best places. One person in RBF. Let's go. Look at this macro. I don't think anyone will get that reference. What? But but it is the reference. It is itself is the reference. 
Why? Because it's so sweet it was your face? Is that why it's a reference? Bruh. This ninja is just, uh, blocking and backing away, I guess. Not even attacking. He says, wait. I mean, did you see what I said to him? A massive high frame neutral stance? No, scroll up. What? You said, I see YouTube has taught you well, you know how to use transition stance? Yes. Wait, fuck, this, this guy's literally a ninja. <laughs> what do you mean he's literally a ninja? Oh, please tell me you don't die. What else, what else would he be? A male Kunoichi. Bruh. You actually got outplayed. Also, this really fits the music that's playing right now. <laughs> I hope it's loud enough for people to hear, though. I'm gonna go into nightmare. I guess I kill him with transition stance. There we go. That was it. That, that's 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 the highlight of the day. I killed him with transition stance. So I'm gonna clip that, I guess. But, um... This, this class is so stupid. I'm infinite iframe. Look at how cancer this class is. Oh, so, so you're basically Corsair. That's what I've been telling you. The entire time. Look, I'm just, I'm just permanently an iframe. That's what I've been telling you. Are you trying to kill him with transition sense? No, I just I just blocked him. I don't I don't know what he's trying to do. Well, you got outplayed. I guess uh I guess that always works. Bro, Ninja doesn't take any skill to play. He just killed me with Serpent Ascension alone. Like, what is this? He just grabbed and Serpent and I died. It's just from that one skill. This guy fighting? I guess it's destroying the ninja. Okay, so are there any other locations you think we should check? Because I, because uh, um, if not, and if chat doesn't also have any other suggestions, I think uh, we might call it a stream for tonight. Yeah. Because we checked all the good spots. Uh, we got some PvP. Not not any huge PvP, but we got some PvP. And uh, But it's getting late, so... Usually, it's unlikely there will be any uh, large PvP at this time. Unless one has already started. So... If there's no other place to check and there's no PvP, then... I'll probably end the stream and... Uh, yeah, call it the night. So, yeah, so with that said, I guess uh, we can probably look for to see if there's anyone we can raid before I go. Yep. 
Let me just get my character to a safe place first, so I don't die to mobs. Alright, do we have anyone ready to raid? Have 18 people ready to raid? 18 viewers? Is there anyone who is PvPing right now, though? Is there anyone who's PvPing anywhere? That's the real question. Yeah, on, on uh, stream, because we're trying to raid someone who's doing PvP, maybe. If possible. Let me see if uh, anyone that I'm following is... Uh... Oh, you should raid Lux of Legends. Although I'm not sure if they're doing PvP. One second, I don't. I don't. I don't see them right now. One, one second. Let me let me get past the uh, advertisement. Okay, here we go. Oh, they are. Oh, I yeah. do see them. I do they, see. They are PvP. They are PvP. Although they're I did rate, I, although I did rate them last time. I guess this guy's just killing me. Unfortunate. He must have saw your face and was driven to anger. I should defend myself real quick. Imagine defending yourself. Wait, who are you even defending yourself from? The fuck? You see my uh, secret technique of crouching so that I don't appear on the mini map. Yeah, we did raid Lux last time, but if there's uh, no one, wait, you actually. Why would you? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh! <laughs> he fucking saved you! Oh my god! Ah, uh, shit, I'm out of stamina. <laughs> oh my god! This... this guy! This guy! Goodbye. <laughs> My combo looks smoother than high HDS players. Uh, oh, I have I have been playing Ninja for uh for a while. I just uh, I, but I did quit for like seven months and came back to play seasonal. So I do have some experience on Ninja already. You have years of experience on Ninja. What are you talking about? Well, years, some experience, you know, some could be any amount. It's uh, not necessarily the same quantity. Oh yeah, I just realized I can actually uh, filter by the PvP tag. Sorry, back, back to... um. Finding someone to raid, cause 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 I do have to end stream, uh, cause uh, there's no PvP at this moment, and probably not for the rest of the night. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess was we'll, I guess we'll raid Lux of Legends. Um, so let me just so, so let me just set up the raid. And uh, yeah, I will be ending stream. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone for watching. And uh, good night. And ho hope to see you all next time. Have a good night, guys. Goodbye. Take care, everyone.